Hello everybody! Hello, how are you doing? I'm very excited! <clears throat> it's gonna be great. Hello there! Um, Metehan? Hello! Uh, Kleine Eiskolumbi? Moth Cloud? How are you all doing? I am doing fantastically myself. <sighs> I'm very, I'm very excited and a little bit nervous too, but I think as the stream will go on, we'll calm down a little bit, it's just <laughs> a lot of, uh, lots of adrenaline right now. But yeah, there is going to be a lot today, and it will be a lot of fun. So... <clears throat> Let me start by showing you the schedule. A lot of you have probably already seen it, but I'm gonna show it off right at the beginning. So, bam. It's a little bit too big. Let me click it. No, that's not what I want to click. Great start already, very professional. Where are you even? There we go. There! <coughs> also let me know if the volume is alright and everything and, and the music is not too loud or too silent. But yeah, this is the schedule. We are going to start with a speed painting. Um, so a speed painting means that I draw something as quickly as possible. Um, normally under an hour, but we'll see how long it's gonna take. I might have to subtract a little bit of time from the from the next one, the drawing emotes part. Actually, let me size this down a little bit so I know there. It's a, it's above the chat, but oh well. <laughs> so there it is. <clears throat> I kind of ha have to look to the right. Well, I'm looking over there a little bit. Anyways. So, speed painting is gonna be the first one. Then drawing emotes. Uh, how many emotes I'm gonna draw, we'll, we will see. Hey there, Aiko. How are you doing? Glad to see you here too. Thank you. So, um... Yeah. And then, a big part. That I'm very excited and a little bit nervous about is Step Mania. I'm gonna dance right in front of the camera on my dance pad. And it will be actually the first time that I will dance on it in front of others. So far, and I've been using it, like I've been playing Step Mania on a dance pad for over a year at this point. But um, I only have been doing so by myself. And... Yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Um, I'm probably gonna do a verse than I would do by myself, but uh, it should be all right. Then origami, of course, um, and it will also be a first timer uh, because it will be the first time that it will actually use some proper origami paper and not just some some kind of printing paper that is maybe covered, uh, colored. So, <laughs> that's great. It's like actual thin paper. Yeah. <laughs> gonna be much easier. And then we're gonna have a break. I'm gonna get some pizza, which will be the first one in more than a year too. Um, because, you know, ordering food is not cheap, but on my 30th birthday, I will make an exception. Then we're gonna play Minecraft on Plipsu's server, so there will be uh, some other people too, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, we're gonna build something, we're gonna do some decoration, some cleaning up, it's gonna be chill, it's gonna be nice. <laughs> then, um, drawing with a color palette, randomizer, uh, you might have seen that already on one of my other streams where I use a website that randomizes my color palette and I need to come up with some idea uh, to draw. 
that is also a lot of fun and you can draw along and also uh, suggest some keywords with which the colors will be generated so it's gonna be nice and then last but not least we're gonna play some racing games to be precise i'm going to use a so-called bizhawk shuffler made by the wonderful Procentia, uh, which basically <clears throat> takes a lot of like well bizhawk is an emulator to be precise and the bizhawk shuffler basically takes a bunch of roms and shuffles them all over the place and so when you play you start with a game and then after a certain amount of time that you can adjust um, the game will switch by itself like it will make a safe state and then load the safe state of another game immediately and it's chaotic because you're constantly switching between games and i think uh, for racing games in particular it will be especially a complete mess <laughs> but it will be a lot of fun and i'm looking forward to it and you know n64 games especially the racing games um are very nostalgic for me because I grew up with all of them. They were my first, one of my first video games uh, in general. And yeah, especially back then, I have been a big racing game um, fan, especially of these like gimmicky ones like Mario Kart and F Zero and Wave Race and stuff like that. But I'm gonna tell you more about my personal stories and experiences with these games when we'll get to that point. Um, <clears throat> now, it's already past 14 o'clock, so I already should be speed painting. I wanted to start a little bit earlier, but I got a call and uh, it was, you know, the... Uh, it was some technician stuff and uh, of course they had to call me today out of all of the, all of the days, but well. Um, but yeah, but before I'm gonna start some words, um, you know, normally I don't really celebrate my own birthday, um, it's not really something that I care about all too much, but, um, oh hey there Lucid, how you doing? And also thank you for the host. <laughs> And you know, so I normally don't care about um, celebrating my own birthday all too much. It's yeah, it's whatever normally for me. But you know, my 30th birthday is something something special. <clears throat> you know, not just because it's a round number. Um, but also, um, you know, the 20s are normally the years where you figure out a lot of stuff. Where, like, it seems like for most people the 20s are the most eventful. Because not only do you have to, like, start up a career or go study and also figure yourself out before that you have to go to school and everything is like kind of like <clears throat> very structured and linear you just go to school and you play games and you just take it easy for the most part and then in the 20s things are starting to get serious and you're gonna like you're normally getting thrown into the cold water and you need to figure stuff out but then at the 30s you are mostly then at the point where you already figured that stuff out and you have that kind of relief that things are finally starting to, you know, flow and like keep up by themselves and you, uh, you have already a good idea of what kind of person you, self, you yourself are and yeah, it's nice. Hey there Tina, <laughs> how are you doing? Nice to see you here too. And hey there, uh, Labby mate. Hey there, hey there. Glad to see all of you. <sighs> so yeah, <clears throat> so I wanted to celebrate and you know, we're still in a pandemic. 
So meeting up with friends and family is not really a thing that um, I can do, or at least I shouldn't do. So instead, I'm gonna just make a big stream out of it, I thought to myself. And so yeah, we have a big schedule that you can see right here and it will be it will be a lot of fun. So enough talk. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Figuring yourself out it is no easy task. Yeah, definitely. Uh, if it's even possible to figure it out completely. Uh, well, completely I would say it's it's not really possible, but it's also not really necessary. You just need to, like it would be just good to figure yourself uh, out for the most part at least, or like for the most important things like <clears throat> what you're normally comfortable with, with, with what kind of living situation and with what kind of people and what kind of work and stuff like that, so you know what kind of path to follow for the most part at least. So, we're gonna have... Oops, that's... Not a good color. Speed... Painting... Alright, <clears throat> so it will also be the first time that I, Whoop, there we go, that I speed paint live on the stream, so that's gonna be interesting. So first of all, let me make a new canvas. So then next up, that's an important step, look up references. So the idea that I had for today was another night sky picture because I enjoy making them a lot. Uh, but in particular I would like to make them above some mountains. And uh, with some nice uh, starry sky. And recently uh, we... Recently, I've been seeing a lot of pictures of the three pillars, you know, uh, if you, that might tell you something. Um, I think NASA has released some new pictures recently or something like that, I don't know. Uh, but it's like these, like three pillars, like these three... Um, Kind of tails that stretch over this over the sky and it look, looks really cool in some in some kind of way and I want to paint something similar I've been thinking to myself happy little night sky <laughs> yes <clears throat> uh, look up for references around me of a youtuber but don't know who exactly <laughs> mm -hmm -hmm. who could that be who could have made an, a video about that recently. Alright, so... <clears throat> uh, I'm, I'm gonna need to figure stuff out and it will be a mess. But that's okay. And if I don't completely finish it, then that's also okay. We're just here to have fun and... Um, and I might be able to tell you some neat little tricks here and there. So, first up, gonna make a bunch of folders. Unfortunately, you cannot see the menu stuff that I'm doing right now because I only have so much space on the stream and I don't want to, it to get completely uh, overloaded. But I can describe what I'm doing. <clears throat> so I'm making a bunch of uh, folders and layers and blah blah. This stuff is not really all too exciting yet. Gonna fill out background color, which is supposed to be a 
the sky color and I don't really have to be precise with the colors right now um, we're also able to adjust them later on so it's fine for now we mostly have to care about the general composition <clears throat> so I have been thinking maybe would I like to add a moon or no and I think actually no the nebula is gonna be enough already for the night sky um, and then we're gonna have some mountains so as for the general composition I want to have the, the nebula strongly focused on this corner of the picture and then we're gonna have mountains that are a bit curved upwards like so over here so let's see um, oops that is much stabilization just gonna quickly sketch in with a lasso tool the mountain shapes first one I'm just I'm just working with layers uh, do -do -do -do. Oops. Move a little bit more over here. Maybe more over here. These layers shouldn't be all too symmetric looking or like too similar looking. Uh, otherwise, it, like, like this one here, then the fact that these peaks um, are matching is kind of a no-go. So I'm gonna actually erase a little bit. And maybe one more layer. I don't want to work with too many layers right now. Uh, also to save a little bit of time. <clears throat> uh, let's see if I can do this here. Hmm. Not exactly sure how I want to shape it. Hey there, thank you Amour. How you doing? Doing alright? That's great. Glad to hear that. I'm doing alright too. I'm very excited. Very high energy right now. Lots of adrenaline. So that's uh, that's enough for the general composition. And then <clears throat> I'm gonna work on the on the mountains a bit more later. For now, um, let me set up. So gonna. Just use a normal spray tool and make the horizon a bit brighter. Make this kind of large gradient that kind of makes the horizon a bit shiny looking. And it also is a good way to distinguish the, the mountain layers from the sky. So the mountains can still look very dark, and they are dark, it's in the middle of the night. Um, but you still are able to separate them from the sky. It's this very faint gradient here. And then, let me see how I'm gonna make these pillar shapes. That's gonna be interesting. I'm, I'm not 
gonna try to copy pictures of the three pillars. Um, make kind of like my own thing out of it. I remember that one shot game I mentioned a while back. The colors here remind me of an area from that. Oh, neat. Still, I really would like to try it someday. It sounds like a really neat game. Who knows, maybe someday I will even stream it. Um, kind of. Yeah, this is alright. So, for that, I'm also gonna make it a glow dodge layer. Let's see. Hmm. How about something that like stretches downwards? It doesn't have to be outwards, you know? Like some kind of nebular is storming down the sky. It's a little bit laggy, but that's to expect, especially while I'm streaming. Be warned, you might cry. <laughs> well, I already got that feeling from it. I already... Uh, had... Uh, like, had a feeling, you know. Especially since you said it's kind of similar to Undertale or De Delta Rune. Those games also made me cry. Basically, it's gonna supposed to be the background glow, you could say, of the of the general nebula. And it's just this this very wide, cloudy texture that is kind of chaotic looking. Um, And then the nebular cloud itself is actually quite dark. So... <clears throat> quite dark and also quite solid. So I'm gonna change the tool. Let's see. No. Still haven't learned what my tools actually do. So I always have to try out see how they look. Uh, well, I'm just gonna, you know, work with a, a normal brush at first and then we're gonna care about this, the, the texture later. So, and then just some Random shapes here and there. And as I said, I want to achieve some kind of look where it looks like something is falling from the sky. Some kind of fantasy structure. Maybe it's kind of splitting up here and there. And then it's kind of it gets kind of stringy at the end. At least of what from what I can see from the pictures. But 
This is a bit hard to see. Um, hmm. Let me actually make this a little bit brighter, at least for now, so I can see it a bit better. And now combined with the music, I'm a run of Subnautica. Oh. Subnautica is also a game that I haven't played myself, but I have seen people play it quite often and seems pretty cool. But definitely also a game that I would enjoy myself. I especially love games where, you know, you can just go around and explore nature and it looks beautiful, everything looks beautiful and and very creative. That's the thing I find really cool. So, let's... Also, a thing about this nebula is that it's kind of like layered by itself. So, it has these kind of edges. So let's see. It's quite interesting. I haven't painted something like this in particular uh, yet. So. It's something new and very interesting to me. Subnautica is definitely one of those games, yeah. Definitely. So let's also start smudging a little bit. So far I've been only painting for like about 20 minutes. Doing some good progress. I only recently started speed painting and... Even though there is still so much that I need to learn, I am enjoying it a lot. Because so far, um, how I've normally been drawing and painting was very slow and with lots of detail and I'm very meticulous about getting everything perfect and blah blah, and, you know, it's just, um, we're a perfectionist and it's quite draining to paint that way all the time, where my paintings take like at least 20 hours or something. <sighs> and so starting to learn how to speed paint where the paintings take me less than two hours, which is for me fast, you know, for some people two hours is still long, but for me it's quite speedy. Um, Yeah, that's... it's definitely kind of a liberating feeling, if that makes sense. Um, oops. 
not quite what I want. Um, and it's just nice to work on a picture and on the same day you already are done with it and you can see the results. Like, just being able to finish something quickly and not have working on it for weeks and weeks until you finally see some result. It's nice, you know? It's nice. Of course, like... Large projects... Uh, are... satisfying in their own specific way. When you have worked on something for a long... <gasps> <sighs> Sorry, they are burping. Uh -huh. Um... If you've worked on something for a long time and then finally finish it, it's a great feeling. And especially if you if you like the outcome. Like I often feel about it with my tutorials. They take a long freaking time. Hey there Sarah, how are you doing? <clears throat> Told you you I would be here, yeah. I'm very glad to see you here. That's kind of what I do with my paintings. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Let me understand. So the past days I have been working quite a lot in order to make preparations for this stream and also other preparations. Um, and what I wanted to do was also to finish up some D&D tokens so that have my complete packs ready and they can like, make some special deal and blah blah and post it all over the internet. But in the end, it turned out that I did not have enough time, and so I had to delay it. It's a bit of a bummer, but you know, it's supposed to be my birthday and not something that I stress out about too much. It's fine, it's fine. And also, uh, what some of the things that I've been working on was also quite a lot of stream layouts because, uh, you know, I wanted to have uh, special stream layouts for this for the different sections of the, today's stream, like for Step Mania and Origami and stuff, and I like how they turned out. And we're gonna see later how they look like. Doing great. That's that's good to hear. Uh, thank you. Glad that you like it so far. <clears throat> yeah, this this dream definitely seems big. But I get a feeling the time will just pass by so quickly. I'm definitely sure that it will be a lot a lot of fun and. And time will just fly by.
Hmm. I can definitely tell that I'm not quite too familiar with this kind of st um, structure, so... Um, still, I am in the process of figuring stuff out. But that's okay. So let's move everything a little bit further to the left. Also, one thing that I definitely can recommend, especially for speed paintings like this, is if you have a small window of the entire canvas open. So when you are like zoomed in, especially like this, like for speed painting, first of all, you're not really supposed to zoom in. You just have the, the whole thing basically in front of you and you just paint and you don't care too much about details and then it's also good to have an even smaller part like a smaller picture of the entire canvas and how it looks like um, so you can tell how the composition is working hey there Fox how are you doing and hey there Vivi thank you <laughs> Sneaky kitty. Uh, oh, it's your birthday as well. Well then, happy birthday, Fox. <laughs> happy birthday. Alright, uh, sadly I'm having class today, so I won't be able to get uh, be here all along, but I'll try to come and say hello whenever I get to. Yeah, yeah I, I, as I don't expect anybody to be around here the whole day. That would be ridiculous. Um, you know, I appreciate you just being able, uh, being here whenever you're able to and just, or just shortly dropping by to say hello and that's also, I'm also thankful for that. So maybe I want to have at least some fainter colors. Well, I'm gonna ca uh, care about it later. It's something you should do at the end. <laughs> also, one of the things that I wanted to prepare was some sketches for the next part, the emote drawing part. Um, but yeah, didn't have enough time, so. Hmm. But it's okay. I still have now uh, plenty of other sketches left, or I might just do a sketch during the stream. It doesn't really matter all that all too much. Let's mix in a few other colors here and there into this painting, into this nebula.
so maybe I'm gonna do something else and add some color jitter to this tool. That's a new feature that Clip Studio has introduced, which is really neat. Um, you can let the, the brush randomize hue, saturation, and luminosity with every stroke, or like um, just constantly while you do a stroke. And it's really convenient to add for adding more color variants. You know, like when I do some strokes here and there, you can see how it's not the same color. It's different every time when I lift up the pen and then do another stroke. And it's pretty neat. I just recently introduced that feature and it definitely is one of my favorite features already. Also, I think my cat farted. Blech. <sighs> Thank you, Hoko. Need to go, but uh, can work the show or add one uh. All right, have a good one, Sierra. We're beginning out today and got some stuff to do. That's all right, lose it. Again, as I said before, I don't expect anybody to be here all the time. You can also, like for example, just be here for the parts that you are especially interested in. You're more interested in the origami part, or maybe the step mania in order, <laughs> so, because you want to watch me look like a complete fool, or maybe you're interested in Bishawk Shuffler, whatever it is. There should be something for everybody. Or at least I tried for that to be the case. So this nebula is a little bit messy looking. I'm not too happy right now with the general texture. But that's okay. I definitely want to be done with the nebula quite soon. So that they can work a little bit more on the mountains and the general night sky, add some stars and stuff. And because we only have a few more minutes left at this point. So just make sure that it has some nice texture and then we'll do some color adjustments. Again, it doesn't have to be one of my best works today, like... It's also something new that I started, and so... I haven't quite figured out everything yet. And that's okay.
Uh, I think he will never watch a stream or only because of a game or something, most likely. But then stream because you like the person or because it's impressive what the person can do. Yeah. Same here. Definitely. I mean, the game or whatever uh, else they're streaming is also a factor. Like, they could be the nicest person, but if they're playing something like Call of Duty or something where I'm just... I personally am just not interested whatsoever, then probably not gonna watch all too long or not too often. But yeah, the person themselves is definitely the most important. And also, hey there Crystal, how you doing? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to see you here too. So yeah. If I get the impression or if it's pretty clear that the person uh, might be uh, a bit of a douchebag or something like that. Or like kind of controversial, I don't know then I definitely would not enjoy their streams and it doesn't matter how much I like the game that they're playing how good they are at playing it or how good they are at drawing or crafting or whatever doesn't matter to me alright uh, let's call it uh, with, the, with, the, with the nebula for now Maybe some actually some more intense colors. How about that? Well, first of all, let me adjust the contrast a little bit. All right. Nah. Um. Let's do it different way. Let's just increase the, the duration because I kind of like it, like the colors. But we're gonna leave the luminosity as it is. I'm just gonna make a mask layer and let a bit like, fade out a bit more. work on the rest of the night sky a bit more <clears throat> as emoji got there hmm. I'm gonna be lurking because still at work thank you uh, and hope you have a, a good work day Also, I've been worrying a bit about the um, the starting time of the stream and uh, and when I when I stop. Uh, but you know, the stream is at least ten hours long. Right now, at the West Coast, people are still uh, like at the West Coast of uh, North America. People are still sleeping. Um, but you know. There, it's very hard to have a time, like a stream time, where everybody is awake. Like, especially for a 10 hour stream, it's pretty much impossible. Um, but at least for some parts, people can be awake and might actually have some free time. And so, yeah. Uh, shouldn't worry too much about it. So, uh, what do I want to do? Yeah, okay. That's right. Wanted to make everything a bit below here.
doing the speed painting right at the beginning might not have been the best idea, to be quite honest. Because it's something that has, I need to focus on still quite a lot. I'm not yet the best at it. But oh well, it, it's fine. Important is that I enjoy doing it, and that is definitely the case. Especially for night skies like these. Definitely noticed that I enjoy doing these quite a lot. It's so satisfying and really not that complicated to make. Also having these brushes is definitely very, very useful. Uh, I mostly use some kind of cloud brushes. You can find a lot of those brushes in, in Clip Studio, in the materials. Um, and yeah, cloudy textures work really well for nebulas like these. What I'm also doing is like kind of switching back and forth between the color and uh, transparent. So basically erasing and have this kind of here and there some, some um, harder edges. And that's also a nice texture for nebulas. Kind of paint an area and then cut out some parts of it. Okay, so that's good enough for the most part for the nebula stuff. So let's add some stars. Thank you, Ramika, for the follow. How are you doing? Glad to see you here too. And thank you, Vivi. Glad you like it. <clears throat> I like the flashes of teal. Mm -hmm. Alright. Stars. I'm probably gonna be a little bit over time, but that's okay. And for the most part, the schedule is not like. I'm not gonna follow it that strictly. Like, when it's the full hour, I need to stop immediately and go to the next part. It's a bit it's fine. <laughs> it doesn't matter all too much. So, stars. Let's add some stars. What do we want to use? Also, have a bunch of star stuff. There we go. Okay, this is a bit too much. <laughs> uh, oh, but this here, nope. Uh, yeah. Make it very big. And then just sprinkle some stuff in here and there. Also for stars, um, there are actually also some kind of kind of rules that you can follow. Um, it's not just spray everything widely, however you see fit. But stars are not evenly distributed. Uh, there are some parts that have a bit more, uh, a bit higher concentration of stars. 
and um, especially around the nebulas like these bright spots you would also see a lot of stars like a larger concentration at least from what I have seen so I'd, li I'd like to have more stars at these spots like over here this kind of tail can have a lot of stars it looks quite nice but here in this nebula as far as I can see from the pictures it doesn't have too many stars in these dark parts I'm gonna leave them out for the most part and I'm also going to make another layer and set it to glow dodge and make it a little bit bigger and so the, and these ones are a bit bigger and, and kind of glowier looking than the other stars you can see if I zoom in the others are like just plain white but these have a little bit of a color colored glow to them that's because of the glow dodge mix them in here and there and the glow dodge uh, depends on the background color the intensity of it um, so it, for if the background is very bright then they're also gonna be a appear a bit brighter at these spots so just here and there make the brush even larger and I'm gonna sprinkle just a few into this nebula I'm not, I'm not gonna overdo it Actually, like how it's coming along. Not too bad today, and it's good to hear. Hope everything is going well with the with the moving stuff. Okay, uh, that's good for the most part so let's also work really quick on the on the mountains a bit more because right now they look kind of boring <gasps> sorry <sighs> burpee uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah so at first let's adjust the colors a little bit i'm gonna look at some other reference here so i actually think that it is a bit too bright so we're gonna reduce the brightness a little bit, but it can have a bit more color. So before the contrast, especially around here, was not too great. It was kind of like, hmm. But this is better. We have a very strong contrast now. I'm gonna also adjust it for the other mountains Then let me just real quick um, adjust the general shape because right now the edges are a bit too harsh. I want to change that. Okay, now.
X1. Definitely want to have more over here. the moment that's good to hear hope it keeps that way stays that way rather <laughs> also for these shapes these mountain shapes um the pattern shouldn't be too repetitive like you don't want to have a pattern that looks like this but it should be a bit more random I would like to teach you more about this stuff but as I said I'm still figuring things out myself and um, you know, someday I would like to make a tutorial about speed painting too. And how to paint la landscapes in in a quick fashion. But, you know, right now I am the one who, who needs tutorials. Uh, it's a very broad uh, topic. And so there are also a lot of techniques and know-how involved. And the thing is also, it really depends on the tools you're using. It's it's definitely not the same if you do that with oil paints or watercolors or stuff like that. It, it would even differ if you use a different digital program. So yeah. Okay, um, adjusted a bit the, the shape of these mountains, so also gonna quickly just use white oops that's the wrong one and just have this kind of mist here and it's just very faint just let the bottom of this mountains be a bit glowy first of all it is good for separating the layers a bit better have a better contrast but also it just looks nice just looks nice and well also is more natural is more realistic that's just how you also see it in in photos very often so at first I'm just gonna have the general gradients and then I will give it a bit more of a cloudy texture. But even with very simple gradients like these it's it's, it's looking very neat. So and I'm just gonna use a blend tool, make it quite big and just make some circular motions here and there so it doesn't look too... Like too even. It has. It should have a bit of a a texture. All right. And the mountains don't really need all that much more texture, especially if it's dark like this. You don't really see details like shades and, and highlights and the, the rock structures or maybe the forests that grow on top of these mountains you don't really see that so especially for speed painting you just leave it as it is it can just be one color or i might just put a gradient over everything uh, but for now it looks fine um yeah, so, 
that's already mostly it. Then, as one of the last things, I would like to add a gradient here. Um, I have this gradient set. Uh, you can see a little bit of a uh, preview over here, like at, at the upper right corner of the tool that I'm currently using. This is a gradient tool. Let me just kind of see where approximately the, the middle is. Nope. About here. Nope. That's good enough. So, and then span it over the whole mixture. Bam. And then we have a gradient. Gonna lower the opacity a little bit. And then basically it just makes the corners a bit darker as uh, like um, it was uh, photographed by normal photo camera like you often see that kind of vignette effect um, on photos and it gives it a bit a nice extra look so I think maybe also a bit of a Oops, that's not the right gradient. Uh, that was the wrong layer, of course. So, I'm gonna give the, the mountains a bit of a gradient too, so they look a bit darker here at the sides. And do that very quickly. Bam, bam. And bam, bam. And there we go. Um, let me just quickly add my name tag. There we go. Should be at the very top. Above the vignette. I uh, just put it wherever it seems the most fit. Maybe I could also maybe put it over here. Over here. I definitely don't want it to be over here where already the main focus of the picture is. So maybe at the opposite side would be a good idea. And there we go. Oops, I move the vignette accidentally maybe make it a bit fainter there we go and that's it hello there F2 family guy online I don't know what you mean by that but still welcome Okay, I'm just quickly gonna save it and we're done. So, uh, how I'm gonna call it? Um, let's call it Descending Pillars. There we go. That's SP Paint. Took me about an hour, a little bit less because at the beginning I've been talking a lot. So, yeah. <sighs> Hope you also like it. I will post it later on social media and stuff. But for now, this is done. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> it was a kitty cam the whole time. It wasn't really centered on the kitty. That's no good. Oh, I'm glad, Lock Ramika. Glad that you like it. <sighs> uh. 
Okay, and so, also, after every section, we're gonna have a kitty break. Let me also really quickly put the schedule up over here, so that we can see it. Why, OBS? Why? Why? Let me move the thing that I'm actually selecting, you know? That, that would be a good idea, wouldn't you say? So, there we go. I'm going to put it over here and then just simply move the camera a bit more to the side. There we go. And pity for it. So that means I can. Oh, yeah, also. people who are just coming in. Our next up is going to be drawing emotes. So oh, this way, well, actually, let me adjust the camera a little bit so that it can be a little bit better. Yeah, it's good enough. So this way I can give my legs and my hands a bit of a rest in between the sections. And also give the kitty some attention. Although she was sleeping and I'm disturbing her, but oh well. <laughs> Violet speed feeling, yay. How are you doing, Tina? Hope you're doing fine. Are you still at work right now, or are you already at home? Boop. I'm booting and I'm snooping too. Wow. Oh, I actually, I think that I missed it. Uh, Manuel Latina, I actually think I actually missed uh, that I mistake you for Tina. Uh, but you're actually another person. <laughs> Not gonna say it publicly right now, but your username <laughs> has confused me a little bit. Kitty break is not gonna take all too long, um, because you know there is still so much to do. But also, I don't want my legs and my hands to get completely exhausted. That's kind of counterproductive. So, next up gonna be in modes. So. Oh, so probably you can oh, so let me hydrate. Would be a good idea. Pechtig, yeah. Yeah. Du bist nicht die Tina. Aber jemand anders, den ich gut kenne. 
du sagen möchtest, wer du bist, also zumindest in welcher Beziehung du zu mir stehst, dann ja, kannst du das ruhig sagen. Ich überlasse es dir. Ich werde es nicht ohne Erlaubnis von dir ah, kundgeben. Äh, ja, just uh, talk a little bit in German with Manuel Latina because I know that they're not the best at English. And so, yeah. <laughs> Yay. And you want to cuddle the table, yes! Meow meow! Let's try to the schedule again. Where's my mouse? There it is. How'd it turn out? Oh, yeah, you haven't seen the final result. Uh, let me show it to you. And also, PD is gone, so PD break is over anyways. <laughs> so. There. There it is. So, I'm pretty happy with the final results. Streich Coco from here. Yeah. We're definitely gonna pack her a lot today. She will get a lot of attention. And treats and all sorts of stuff. Also, gonna be a special day for her. <laughs> Alright, I need to adjust the camera again. Hmm. I'm glad you like it. I mean, there are some things that, I'm, uh, that I see that I'm not quite happy with. Oh, uh, actually, let me really quickly make some adjustment because, for example, the back row of, of mountains should be a bit blurry. There we go. Gives it a bit be a better feeling of distance. Okay, so next up we're gonna have emotes. That's definitely gonna be something that's a bit more chill. I don't have to think too much about it. Pretty easy. Let me open it. Oh, where do I have it? Also, let me clip this on my shirt again. Uh, do, 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 do. Group files in modes there it is already. So for everybody who does not know, I have a Discord server. Uh, and everybody feel free to join. And type it in your chat. Um, should be posted on both sides. Yeah, there we go. A weird delay between the chats, but okay. Uh, maybe. maybe. Oh, it's fine. So, I have a Discord server, so everybody can feel free to join, and it's a nice community, and lots of very friendly people over there. And you don't have to be yourself really be interested in, in, in art to be able to join there and fit in. You know, you can also talk about all sorts of other stuff, like TV shows and animes and um, d and and um, just... Maybe just post pictures of your pets, which also would be neat. You know, it's whatever you want to do, whatever you want to talk about. Uh, and I have a bunch of emotes for that server. 
Um, yeah. Those are a few that we already made and they are a lot of fun to make. And so... I have... Some sketches. Like I have this little guy with a present, which I think would be appropriate for today. And I also wanted to have one that kind of like throws confetti into the air. Uh, kind of like a celebratory emote. <laughs> it's lightning, yay! <laughs> you got it. Well, that's where also my name comes from, so... <laughs> yeah, like that. Or... Um, or like the other emote that I use quite often from Christy, Christy Cates. <laughs> oh, Coco is now over here, turn the camera. She is all pretty and beautiful. So yeah, I wanted to make a sketch of this like a um, celebratory confetti in mode like those ones that you see in chat. But I didn't have time for it and so... Oh well. Doesn't matter all too much though. Um, I have a few other ideas. That's kind of lurk in mode. And just, you know, just listening to music, just vibing. <laughs> or something like this here. Mm. So there are still some fun ideas in here, but uh, for today I'm gonna work on this one. Let me open it up. And we'll see how far we're gonna... Uh, we're gonna get. Um, I might where it will be that I only finished this one. Um, that's okay. This is definitely not not the most important section of today's stream. I have to say, but it's fine. Uh, let me also see what kind of uh, line thickness I should. Yet. Yeah, it's definitely... Definitely need something much bigger. Yeah, like this. There we go. Just gonna do some line art. Schenkel's fucking super and puts it up. Yeah. <laughs> but today you're not able to give me presents. So, ha! This year you're forced to, to follow the rules of no presents.
For remotes like these, it's important to keep in mind that they are supposed to be really small, like the emotes you have to, and that you just saw in chat. Um, <clears throat> so putting too much detail into those is not a good idea. You can easily overload them and then in chat you're not really able to see what they're actually supposed to represent. So keeping things simple is the way to go. And also, which we'll see later, the, the color the colors play an important role too. Also I have this border here, which is exactly where the emote will be cut off, so I definitely want to avoid uh, drawing over that. I'm not 100% exactly following the, the lines that I drew in the sketch. Because it's a sketch, and so there are parts that are not perfect. And so while I'm doing the lines, I'm also doing um, some corrections for that sketch. the outer lines especially are quite thick and then inner lines like these can be a bit thinner but the thick outlines make it easier than later for, uh, for the viewer to distinguish the, the emote from the background color in the chat I'm constantly turning the canvas around and I'm sorry if that makes you a little bit dizzy but it helps a lot when you do line art because normally you want to follow the natural flow as you could say of your wrist um, that makes it a bit easier to make some smooth lines like if I, for example, draw a line in this direction, it's very awkward. I cannot really use my wrist all too well, or like, like this. It's just, just I want to ha have like something just from side to side. And also, I just assume so that I'm able to make everything in just one wrist movement instead of having to move my whole arm which is normally a bit less precise. If you paint then that's a different story, then it doesn't matter all too much and then actually you are um, encouraged to use your whole arm. Also because it puts a bit less strain on your wrist. But I also have to say that it that's how it works for me. People have different habits and different ways to draw. 
and it might work differently for you. Also, one thing is, I hold the pen in a very weird way. Um, like I can, I can show it to you a bit closer. Like I kind of, like normally you're you're t uh, taught to hold it like this. You have the 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 thumb and the the index finger like right at the tip, and then you draw. But I kind of like have the thumb oh like wrapped around and kind of firmly holding it while also the middle finger is not at the tip but kind of like there for for the kind of like counter the pressure from the thumb and it just rests on the middle of the middle finger and it's awkward but that's just how i got used to it and it works for me. The only downside of this kind of grip is you can see I have these little say patches that I made myself which look very crappy but uh, I didn't care about looks. Uh, this be exactly because of the way I hold the pen. I put a lot of pressure and exactly the, and the thumb and the middle finger on these spots. In order to soften it a little bit I made these patches, otherwise, like without them, they're gonna get strained quite quickly and they, I tended to have some kind of bumps right at these spots, which is not too great. <laughs> so, having these patches definitely help, helps a lot. I mean, you could say I could just wear a glove that has all the fingers. But then, first of all, I have less precision with 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 my pen, obviously, because wearing a glove is not really the best thing for precision. And you know, it also gets very sweaty very quickly, especially in hot summer days. And you know, for my entire childhood, it has been taught to me that the way I hold my pen is wrong and I need to, you know, hold it at the tip and stuff like that. Um, and then much, much later, I found out that it, it's actually pretty common that people don't hold it at the tip, like how you're normally taught. And that there are all sorts of different types of grips, and they are all pretty much valid. Um, like for me, it wouldn't improve my drawing capabilities or my writing capabilities if I actually hold it at the tip, and because I'm just not used to it. And as I said, yeah, I put a lot of pressure on these spots, and so. Um, have a bit of an issue with that but first of all I can solve it with these patches exactly and then I'm fine I don't really have too many issues thanks to that and also um, even if you hold it at the tip like this it's not like it enables you to draw and write endlessly without any sort of strain on your fingers. Like, every every kind of grip has its down and upsides, you know? Just hold the pen however you feel works best for you. And you can find your own personal solution if maybe the way you hold your pen puts a lot of strain on your fingers or your wrist.
You're drawing on the wrong layer. <sighs> also happens to me. More often than it should. There we go. Now it's fixed. Kitty, uh, you're back. So pretty. Over here I don't have to care about drawing over this box because later it will also be cut off and adjusted. See how it looks like without the sketch. <clears throat> okay, I would say that's good enough for now. Okay, then. I'm gonna do this here. reference layer and do advanced fill and just fill in everything with not this color but this color there we go just white and this is gonna be the base color layer and above that we're gonna have the mink is already white so only the present needs some colors Uh, let's see, what kind of colors should the present get? Mm. Let's give the, the wrapper maybe this color. Magenta color. I can adjust the color later anyway, so it's fine. make some small corrections here and there because the fill tool isn't perfect here and there are often some little spots that are missed
Let's give it some different colors because I'm not quite too happy yet. Let's see. Always love this kind of teal color. And then have a nice complementary color. The complementary would be for teal, it would be something like magenta. But that already works pretty well. Quite leap. Doesn't be long. I don't know what uh, it has been. Happy birthday, me! <laughs> Thank you. How have you been doing? All right. Also gonna have the shading. For that, I would like to pick out a shadow color from over here. So that it matches the other emotes that I already have. I'm just simply gonna paint it in. It's a very faint shading. Also gonna have it on multiply. First, I'm just broadly painting the shading color in, and then I will adjust it. actually go for a bit a bit darker color for the box itself especially for the underside here can be quite dark Glad you like it, Ramika. And after I'm done with the stream, it will also be available in my Discord server. It's been quite a while. Uh, uh, I've been quite well. Mm. Uh, slowly opening up over here, which is nice. How's it going? Ah, it's good to hear that things are improving over you. Uh, over there at your side. Um, I have been doing alright too. Thank you for asking. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, feel free to join. As I said before, there are lots of very nice people over there. general shades I'm going to adjust it and make a bit smudgier establish some gradients it doesn't look too harsh and maybe just blend Everybody who just recently joined or where AFK just before, I'm gonna post it in chat again. Feel free to join the Discord server. Everybody's invited. Soon the next part is coming up and oh boy, I'm so excited about this. A little bit nervous. But I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of fun. So let's see. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Today I'm only going to be able to finish this one emote, which is fine. I mean, that's just how usually these emotes, how long they take me. Then, I'm gonna make a mask layer for the shades. Oh, let me also do a little bit more adjusting over here. Here we go. Uh, a mask layer for the shades. And erase some of these edges, these borders here. I mean, for the mode itself, you don't really see details like these, but still, it makes it much nicer looking, in my opinion. If you, if you look closely. And then, let's also add some highlights. Just a basic white color. 
And I'm just going to use it for this ribbon. It could be that it's made of some very shiny material. Some of the edges can also be a bit brighter. <laughs> Alright. Thank you for joining, Ramika. Nothing less will do. Yes, exactly. Okay. And that is mostly it. Maybe I can give the whiskers now. I'm gonna leave the whiskers as they are. In this case. It doesn't matter all too much. So, uh, then... I have this square over here. I'm just using it to make a selection and when I remove this square we don't need it anymore select this complete layer and just well no 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 I should invert the selection first then hit delete and now it is perfectly cut out or an emote. And this is how it would look like in a chat, for example. So if I'm if I zoom out and make it really small in order to like show how it would how the size would look like in, in an actual chat like Discord, then you can see. Like this gray is like the typical gray of Discord, or then we have just the normal light mode or a complete black and we can see we can compare how it looks like the different background colors and if, if it works well for all the different background colors then it's ready to go which is the case here I just have to make sure that you know the outlines are black and so therefore nothing should be very dark uh, have a very dark color like the little mink is white so that's already con like, like it couldn't be more contrasting and then also the present has very bright colors and so it still sticks out on, on a dark background while here on a light background you have the lines which are separating uh, the drawing from the background and so it works out and there we go Done. With that, I will upload it after the stream, or maybe tomorrow, um, on Discord, and you will be able to use it over there too. <sighs> okay, so, once again, time for a little shitty break and oh, all, and look at her. She's passed out. Okay. Move the camera a little bit. 
here. And sit down. Let's look at the camera over right here and... Oh, it's open. Look at the uh, schedule. And next up is the part that I'm the most nervous uh, about, but also I think it's going to be a lot of fu <laughs> fun. Sorry, I'm really burpy again. It's gonna be Step Mania. Ah, so during this break, let me explain what that means. Ah. So, Step Mania is a rhythm game. You might know Dance Dance Revolution or something like that. Uh, so it's basically a game where you see the, the arrow scrolling up and you have the rhythm bar and you have to hit the arrows right when they hit uh, when they scroll over the bar and that's it and traditionally like with Dance Dance Revolution DDR uh, you played on a dance pad so you control it with your feet. You have a dance pad, which is exactly the size so that you can step around. And yeah, you dance around on it and have fun. And there are all sorts of songs and they, are, they all have their different kind of timings with, and arrows and stuff like that. And it's a lot of fun and very good workout too. And yeah. Like many years ago, you were only able to find stuff like that in arcades or stuff like that, or something like that. Uh, but nowadays, um, there are plenty of options where you can have dance pads it, at your home. And I have one, an actual solid one. Um, so I started actually with a cheap one with like this kind of mat that you can roll up where you can like a foldable mat uh which was crap i would not recommend it at all i mean it was good for me as an, at an entry level to kind of figure out if it's actually something i like um but i figured out that i like it but i was so frustrated about this freaking mat that uh that just it didn't work properly and so i got an actual solid one imported it from poland and it works pretty well. And so we're gonna play this together with Step Mania. So Step Mania is basically... Um, like a freeware where you have all sorts of user-generated uh, step files and you have a lot of different songs. Basically whatever people want to make steps uh, step files for or want to dance with <laughs> and I got a bunch of video game music for step mania and that's what I'm going to play today a bunch of video game music um, because well first of all I love video game music it's something that you know connects with me and I feel nostalgic about and it's fun a lot of video game music is also quite good um, a lot has been done over the past couple of decades uh, so yeah and there will be retro games retro game music but also more modern tracks so it's going to be quite a mix yeah, yeah. And also the other reason is I want to avoid copyright claims for this stream. Oh, kitty. <laughs> Come on. And video game music is normally more on the safer side. I also have, for example, a couple of tracks from animes and cartoons and uh, other stuff. But with stuff like this, or for like from actual bands, 
Uh, yeah, they are most definitely gonna get you copyright claimed, and it's not a good idea to play music like that on stream. So yeah, that's the reason. Okay. I'm just excited. <sighs> and yeah, I will do that live on stream, so I'm gonna have the camera pointed at me and you will see me look very stupid. Uh, and yeah, but it's fine. As I said, the, may, the most important thing about it is that I have fun. We have fun. And it's gonna be a blast. Okay, so with that introduction... Kitty's excited now. You're also excited. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so um, I will switch the, the setup so I will actually go on the BRB screen for a while and change all the cameras and stuff like that so they are perfectly aligned so it, it will take me a while but um, Please stand by and we will get right back to the stream. We will get right to the Step Mania. So I'm very excited. Hope you're too. Dance time. Oh boy, oh, you came back right at exactly the right time. <laughs> be excited about it. Okay, so we'll be right back.
All right, and here we are. Oh, actually, now I remember something that I haven't done. Let me do this real quick. Still needed to change the position of the ca uh, of the microphone a little bit. Sorry. Oops, that's the wrong way. So. <laughs> yes, feedy cam, kitty cam, and feedy cam. to get out of the screen. May I do that please? Thank you very much. Let me go. I'll remove that. Um wanted to real quick. Yeah. But we can actually read it. <laughs> so okay. Cables are getting to the limit in terms of length. <laughs> well, well, uh, I'm gonna turn off the microphone real quick so that doesn't get too loud. Hey. One, test two, okay. Just want the microphone to be closer to me because I'm gonna stand away from the computer. Far. So, show you. This is right below me. This is the dance pad. So, just gonna dance around on this thing and gonna have a lot of fun. You you will be able to see very quickly how everything. But also, I have to say that while I'm gonna play this, um, I'm not will be I won't be able to pay attention to chat quite a lot. Uh, I really have to focus on the song. Um, I hope you understand. Uh, so actually, lose it. Um, I wanted to ask you. I forgot to ask earlier. I'm sorry about that. Um, would you like to be a, a moderator? Because I definitely I get a feeling I can talk to you and you know a bit because I don't have any moderators and especially for a section like this where I just cannot pay attention to chat that would be a good thing just in case just in case somebody comes in and and spam something but it's up to you like if you say no you don't really want to do that then that's totally. Totally fine. Oh, okay. Thank you, Lucy. Alright, then let me do this. Uh, just mod and then. Okay, that should have done the trick. Okay, so there is no music running right now because the music will come from the game itself. Also, Kitty, uh, why don't you... This is one of the times where, where Paco gets very upset because it's getting loud and I'm stomping around. Ah. Oh, Kitty. Oh. I'm sorry, it will get quite loud now. Hope you will forgive me. Hmm? Okay. So I'm quite nervous, but here we go. I have my keyboard right next to me. Hold the mouse over here, there we go. <laughs> A hip sword.
this over here. Okay, so those are the folders that I have um, sorted by video game uh, franchises. Pretty simple. So I was thinking, why not start with Mario? Because you know it's the most appropriate. It's it's just the video game dude. And I got a bunch of songs over here. Let me just really quickly. Um, so first of all, um, I have the loudspeakers on right now. I don't have headphones that you can see uh, because I cannot really wear them while well yeah. Um So you might hear an echo coming from the loudspeakers. If you hear them, I'm sorry, but I adjusted the sound so that the PC audio is much louder than the normal is. Um, so this is why I'm also like in comparison the balance is a bit off. Because only most for, for the most part the, the song music is gonna matter and not my panting and stop. So yeah. You can barely hear me over the music. Well, that's good. <laughs> because that's the point. If I need to talk, then I'm just gonna switch over something like this, and then you will only hear me. Uh, but while the song is playing, you're supposed to own like mostly just hear the song. So it's an odd balance, and I, I'm sorry about that. But yeah, I don't hear much uh, echo. In fact, I don't hear echoes at all. That's good. That that means that uh, the, the the microphone is working as it's supposed to with the directional thingy. Hoppo is probably gonna go outside so there won't be much kiwi in the kiwi can. Oh, well. So, let me just shake out a little bit. I haven't really done too much of a, of a warm-up session. <sighs> but it should be. It should be. I'm fumbling around on this trackpad over here. I don't have better. Uh, the wrong thing. And <clears throat> yeah, I'm just gonna start. So while I'm playing the music, I actually have chat closed, so I don't get distracted. Uh, and here we go. So, starting with Mario, uh, I'm not gonna play this one because it's kind of time for this. Uh, this one's a bit too expensive. Uh, but we can start with this one. Mario Kart Wii, Rainbow Road. I'm gonna play some art. Actually, let me play this one at first because I'm having A rank on this one, therefore, a bit easy. And you know, it's even a more appropriate uh, first song to play.
Oh, the cat. Ah, that took me a little bit. <laughs> uh, I still got an A rank, so that's alright. Actually, not doing too bad. <sighs> uh, I definitely felt at the beginning that uh, I was feeling a little bit nervous. But during this song, I actually <laughs> got used to it already. So that's pretty good. <laughs> oh, Hoko. What you doing? What you doing? Hmm? Boo boo. Come, come on, leave. Hmm? Come on, here. Uh, boo -boo. So that was a pretty easy song. At least for me. Uh, at, at my skill level. Um... You know, I'm also not the most professional Step Mania player. Uh, I only played for a little bit over a year and also mostly just casually. I haven't really practiced hardcore or anything. So you're not gonna see some high level plays from me, but you know, you're still, you can just have fun with the video game music and it's gonna be a fun time. just get confused beyond belief it's definitely something you need to get used to uh, uh, especially at the beginning uh, it took me so long to get just this this eye foot coordination together because like even though I was able to read the, the arrow somewhat I just couldn't keep up with the with the legs and the feet it's just, it just was not really possible though it's just you know, when you normally play uh, video games, you use your hands, you, so you have that eye-hand coordination, but not eye-foot coordination. That's something completely different, and you just have to start from the beginning, basically, in order to establish that. Uh, well, having played some video games definitely helps in terms of reaction time and stuff. But, yeah, cat is all over the place now, she's behind me, getting in the box. Want to stay over there? That's fine. Oh, let me move the camera. Oh, yeah, go here. Of the little things. But okay, gonna pick out the next song, which means gonna get loud again. So. Oh. So, now let's get back to here. We have a little bit more of a faster, upbeat song. First of all, it was pretty basic, but this one is very technical. More difficult. It's a bump. I think I don't the camera too much, but...
wasn't too bad. I'm happy. I'm happy if I just get the rank that I normally get. Got a B rank. Got a B rank before. I'm happy. I'm not gonna reach any new records today or anything like that. <sighs> No, it just snapped in. No worries. Uh, nothing broke. <sighs> ah. Ah. <sighs> so and now I'm gonna adjust the camera because it makes me crazy. If I'm not perfectly centered. So. <laughs> uh, so, okay. Uh, rather do this than go to the gym. <laughs> yeah, that's also uh, part of the reason why I have it. it. It's a good, really good workout and it's a lot of fun. And so it gives me a lot of motivation to, you know, stay in shape. Especially during the um the lockdown and everything it was pretty useful well i never really <laughs> leave the house normally anyway so for me there wasn't really a change but yeah still oh. just can't stay at one place <sighs> well, i hope you enjoyed this one let's move on to the next one <clears throat> so, let's have some Super Mario RPG, shall we? So, this one's a short one, but you can see I only got a C rank in it, so... Yeah, it's, it's something. You see, like, you have one minute and two seconds. Well, it's gonna be intense. Let's see how well I'm gonna do. Mana really messed up at the beginning. Ah, oh, that was terrible. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Uh. Yeah, I lost the timing at the beginning and it was hard to pick up again. You can see the curve. How it just was terrible at the beginning at the upper left corner. Oh man. But still got a C rank everything okay <laughs> uh, I could do better I could do better if I practice this particular song but you know I normally like to just switch around songs I don't like to just stick at one song for a longer amount of time uh, so we're gonna get the next one uh, also there are a lot of songs still left so I want to get through them uh, yeah. Started, just started playing Beat Saber again today at the Mars, and the songs are surprisingly rusty. Yeah, it's something that you need to uh, keep in practice. If you keep up, if you come back after a long hiatus, uh, you're gonna be rusty. Most definitely. 
So, next one. So let's play this more so then we get to the next franchise. This one's a fun one from Mario 3D World. The game in general is very really fun. Even though I never really played it myself. Okay. What's uh, 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 A fun song. Also, one thing that I just remembered about right during the song is yes, I wanted to change the, the categories. Which, so let me do this real quick. Uh, And was it for Mario? Uh, let's move on to the next. Let's just follow general direction here. Yeah. Some Mega Man's.
went all right. It was a pretty jazzy song. Some of the, the notes time would have thrown me off. Yeah. Uh, in general, the 3D world soundtrack is very jazzy, and it's it's really really cool. It's nice. It's, it's a lot of fun. I like it a lot. Uh, yeah, definitely recommend. Okay, next Mega <coughs> Mega Mom song. <laughs> Legendary song, of course. Also, sorry that uh, the sound balance between songs is a bit off. It's just. This is a more silent one. And it's a bit confusing there. Uh, I messed up at some parts. That's okay. Ah, still, an epic song from the NES era. Uh -huh. Right, let's move right on to the. Oh, we. Chill Penguin. I especially have to be careful about my right foot because it's normally the part that gives out at first. It went pretty well, actually. Definitely one of my best tries. I don't know what, what rating did it have before? Did it have A or even B? But, actually, it was alright. <sighs> okay, next one. Uh, let's actually go back. We'll go to Kirby. Our friendly round puffball. And Kirby has a lot of very fun music. It's also great to dance to. 
That part at the end is so... I don't know how to do this. You have to be so freaking fast. Oh, and also messed up a little bit in the middle. I didn't quite get the A rank. But as I said, as long as I get the ranks, the highest ranks that I got before, I'm fine. If I do a normal performance as I would do offline, I am com <sighs> Thank you, Crystal. Uh, and I'll be away for for a while after this drama, brother, and Smash Bros. All right, <laughs> have fun. All right, for this one, let me sit down. Shouldn't overdo it. Ah. <sighs> It sucks a little bit that there is this awkward silence in between the songs while, I, while I'm talking, but well, it can't be helped. I mean, I could always keep on playing in some music in between, but uh, that's also then too much of a hassle. And nobody needs that. Definitely feel the heat. Especially while I play this, the, the, the room gets very heated up. So, yeah. Pretty cold outside, but I'm noticing that. Quite a workout, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> I also noticed that um, when you are in rhythm and you know how how to how to play and you know, you know the song and you do a good performance it is less exhausting uh than freaking out and panicking if you do that then you step all over the place and you exhaust yourself really quickly ah uh, uh, hey there Ross Ben how are you doing glad to see you here too and thank you uh, we are Currently playing Step Mania, so if you are uh, just joining in, um, this is a rhythm game that I play with this thing here. And it's a lot of fun and it's uh, quite a good workout, so I'm sorry that I am panting a little bit and I'm sweaty, but eh, well, that's just how it is. Ugh. Also, let me know, like, is the sound okay? Is there still no, no significant echo coming from the loudspeakers? Is my, are, am I, am, am I too loud, like, with my stomping and, and panting? Or if, is it okay? Like, can you hear the song uh, alright? 
Yeah. This develops, okay. <clears throat> Well, all fine, that's good to hear. That's okay, although it's still hard to hear you talk over the... Yeah, I mean, that's just, just how it is. The, the louder I make myself uh, in comparison, then the stomping will get louder, or the song itself will get like the echo will get louder. So, don't hear any echo, that's good. It's fine, like this right now. I just talk in between songs. <sighs> okay. So let's move on to the next song. Next Kirby song. Yay. This one's fun. Pretty well. Whew. Ah, it's such a fun song. Ah, Kirby's great. In all forms and shapes. Kirby is a friend. However wholesome or cursed he might be. Hey. Kirby! Uh, okay, let's let's jump right to the next one, shall we? Now we got some BDB. That was an intense one.
bit of the better, but uh, we're still all right. Hmm. Was all right. And it's also another very fun song for sure. <laughs> That was crazy, yay. Regular, Kirby, regular Kirby is always welcome. No curse. No curse. Okay. I don't have any cursed versions here. Whether I like it or not. Not yet. Anyways. I do To the next song. No, not y no yet. <laughs> I I cannot look into the future. You know, it's just whatever happens happens. If there is cursed Kirby in the future. Then you must accept your fate. Just how it is. Okay. Let's move. On. I think I have one more Kirby song. Oh no. This one is a file that is too hard. You can see the difficulty levels. Uh, let me actually get closer to the microphone so you can actually hear me. Uh, you can see the difficulty levels at the lower left corner. Hard, ex uh, expert, and so on and so forth. Um, and then you see the squares. These checkered squares next to it. These indicate um, how many for how many players or for how many pads this is uh, supposed to be. And so the two square songs actually require two pads or like two players or like one player who plays on two pads. I can't play these. And then so the only one player uh, or one pad songs that are there are hard and expert. And I cannot play them unfortunately. It's a fun song, but I will. So, well, uh, let's actually move on to. Let's go over here, actually. So, I have miscellaneous video game music, which is just everything like where, where I have only one or two songs of the those particular franchises and so it doesn't really pay off to make an extra folder for them and let's start with Chrono Trigger fantastic game, fantastic music <sighs> this is the intro music of the game It's not really the most dance of the whole year. Oh well. How's the time is it the time?
this was more of a simple song. I'm not so sure about DuckTales, actually, because uh, they, recently, they recently released uh, a new cartoon series about it. And it also has this song in particular, not that song exactly, uh, but of course, you know, orc or with an orchestra or something like that. Uh, but I'm worried a little bit that it might get me in a copyright claim, but also it's a good song, so let's play it. The old game. Great song. Definitely a great song. Oh yeah, Hoko is in front of the camera actually. Nice. Let me adjust it a little bit. Enter it. <laughs> yeah, Hoko is used to it at this point. <laughs> uh, she knows that sometimes I just stomp around for some weird reason and you know, let's just let the human do his thing, <laughs> whatever. As long as I don't stomp around right around her or something, fine. <sighs> also, I hope that I don't look too stupid while I'm really focused on the game and just flailing around. <laughs> I can't really help it, it's just... How you look when you play a game like that, it's just how it is. But yeah. <sighs> okay, so next one.
Messed up at one point. Uh, I still could have, couldn't have gotten the double A ranking, but it's okay. It's okay. <sighs> That's a great song. Yeah, for sure. It's a good classic. <sighs> there are some very neat covers of the song. Also. One from Adri Adriana Figueroa, who has uh, that also has lyrics. It's very, very cute. <laughs> All right. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I love this song. I love Katamari. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I had more songs from that game. I wish more people would make stat files for these songs because they're so fun. <sighs> la 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 Katamari Damashi. Okay, I shouldn't sing. <laughs> Not a singing stream. <sighs> All right, I also have another Katamari song right here, but the problem is Sky it's long. You can see in our left corner four minutes forty seconds. That's too long. It's also a pretty hard song. So I need to. Do. Let's give the Metroid. This is great. It's a classic, good classic.
was a mess. That was not my best performance. I personally have problems with steps where you need to hold one foot and then you have to play the rest with just one foot. And that very often messes me up. For some reason, it's hard for me to coordinate. That's one of my weaknesses. Well, yeah. It's a great song. <sighs> Alright, let's move on. Next one. Okay, this one. Not really good for dancing. This one. Here we go. Song's rad. This song's great. Also, Xenoblade Chronicles in general is great. I love this song. <sighs> I'm doing better than, than most of us. Oh, well, it's, it's, it's a practice thing, you know? I practiced for over a year, and so I'm at a certain skill level. If you haven't practiced at all, then yeah, <laughs> that's just how it is. And especially with something like this as a talk before, um, you need practice in this particular thing. Like your general experience with uh, video games isn't really gonna help you all that much. Even if you played rhythm games with a keyboard or something, or with a controller. It's really not the same thing. It's a completely different kind of coordination. And so yeah, you just need practice. But also, as I said, I'm not professional at all if you compare me with like actual professionals and how freaking fast they are. I cannot even comprehend. I cannot even understand. It's crazy. I'm gonna have to go. I'll probably uh, check in later again. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for dropping by, Crystal. Yeah, the stream is still gonna go for quite a while until late night, so chances are when you come back, I will still be on. Have a good one. <sighs> and I'm gonna try to not break anything.
a good thing though that I practiced a lot during the past couple of days. So I am I'm in a good shape. I'm in a decent shape. Yesterday, for example, I played through all the songs that I wanted to play today. And I did alright. Make sure that my right foot is doing okay for some re weird reason, the muscles or tendons um, especially get achy for my right foot in particular, whatsoever. Okay. We're done with the miscellaneous block. So, uh, next up, let's play the next one in the list, which is Pokemon. This one's too long. But yes, this is a nice one. It has an interesting like a It's a bit of a more complicated rhythm though, so I might mess up at some points. But that's okay. Yeah. It went well for a while and then I messed it up. You can see the graph. Oh well. <laughs> Would have been great if I could have gotten a best new rank. A new best rank, but oh well. Ah oh, well. Still a nice song. It's, it's a nice change because the rhythm is very different from most of the other songs. Like da, 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 da. The, the rhythm to it. I like it. Okay. The classic, of course.
<sighs> First Pokemon video game song ever that you have heard. <laughs> Next up, I have the Pokemon theme, which is from the anime, so I definitely cannot play that one. That will definitely get copyright claimed. But yeah, sorry about that. It's a great song. It's like one of my favorites too, but oh well. <sighs> but we have Sonic. There are also a couple of songs that I'm going to skip, so actually I'm going to play only two of those. Because either I worry that the copyright claim more, and the step files are timed a bit weird. So let's start with the classic. Look at this, uh, look at this graph, it's so nice and smooth, did all right, no misses, no boos. All right, a classic, yes Lucid, classic indeed. And next up, my favorite Sonic song out of all of them. And I'm pretty sure that it will not get me some kind of copyright claim. Uh, I hope so, at least. Because it's from a video game, so it should be okay. So it has lyrics. So, my favorite Sonic song Sonic Boom. Yeah. 
this this song always gets me so hyped up. It's so epic. And I am myself not really that big of a Sonic fan. I don't really play the games. I only watch other players, uh, other people play them. I'm not that interested. But you gotta, you gotta admit, the music is great. The music is so great. And that's definitely my favorite. <sighs> oh well. So that was Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog! So next up we're gonna have Zelda. And then I will actually jump to Final Fantasy and F-Zero and then Undertale. Probably in Final Fantasy I'm gonna skip a bunch of songs because you can see I have 29 songs in there. <laughs> and those are a lot. But now we have Zelda. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna skip a few more because I'm getting a bit short on time. The setup has taken me a bit long, so I'm gonna skip a few more that I originally planned. Let me skip with this one. Link's Awakening. Great song. this song to uh, uh, Link, Link's Awakening is also great. It's one of these uh, one of the Zelda games that I played pretty late actually. I'm a big Zelda fan myself so I played almost all of them except for a few and Link's Awakening was one of them one of those few until recently when the remake got released for the Switch, I played that one and I had a lot of fun for sure. <sighs> yeah, it's great. <sighs> oh. Okay. This is an epic song. Uh, but the problem with that one is. Um, you were able to see the difficulties with easy and hard. Easy is pretty boring, and hard is just way too much for me. It's one of these songs where there is just not really a good balancing, and there are a lot of difficulty levels missing in between. And I wish there were there were more, but yeah, 
gonna skip this one, although the song is great. It's so epic. But instead, we're gonna play this one. It's not epic, but it's really nice and chill. It's also one of the songs that has a very interesting rhythm to it. Three-fourths rhythm. Not only is it a really nice song, but it's also really fun to play on Instep Media. I definitely get a lot of it. I don't know what it's called again. This Irish song, like log dancing or something like that, where you have your arms behind your back and you just move your feet and that's all. It strongly reminds me of that. <sighs> and that's already it for the Zelda block. Unfortunately, I don't have that much music of Zelda, which really bumps me out. There's just not that all that much. Uh, well, I have more, but the other ones that I have um, are either not really suited for day or they're just way too difficult for me. Oh well. So, as I said, I'm gonna skip ahead to Final Fantasy now. I'm gonna skip a bunch of these songs. As you can see, I have the Black Mages in there too, which is a band, a cover band, but I don't know how I actually want to deal with those, but they're probably also gonna get the copyright claims so and avoiding those songs too. Which is a bummer because the songs are so cool.
song always reminds me of that cover which is just sings water over and over like water and water and water 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 This one's very fun. Sorry that this, that song is much worse quiet than the other. Again, okay. can't help it. Chocobos, you gotta love them. Uh... <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. I, I got at least a few of them, a few of them, them skills. Just enough so I don't completely embarrass myself. I don't think so. <laughs> I'd still do that. Alright, let's skip ahead a bit more, let's go.
Oh, is there a real good song? From Final Fantasy X. A good game. Ah. I also played a fair, my fair share of, of Final Fantasy games. Thank you, Iko, and welcome back. <sighs> oh, Final Fantasy games are great, and I especially love uh, 7 to 10. And 7, seven and 8 have a, especially a, a special place in my heart. I love especially that era of Final Fantasy. Alright. Uh, right, oh. Final Fantasy seven this time. It's quite of a hectic song. So cool. I would say I did all right with this one. Final Fantasy VII, especially, I would say is my favorite. Just I love the atmosphere, especially of that game. I really want to replay it at some point. I really hope that the Final Fantasy remake gets released on PC. Not. PlayStation exclusive anymore. I'm not gonna get a PS4 or 5 just for that game. <sighs> ah. Move on. <laughs> there is one winged angel. You can see one winged angel there. That's one of my favorite songs to play in Step Mania, if not my absolute favorite. But it's from the movie Advent Children, so it definitely will get the copyright claim. And, ah, it's so frustrating because it's so epic, it's so cool, but ah, it's just... It's a bummer, it's really a bummer. Quite easy, it's actually more of a medium difficulty. 
the difficulties are all over the place because they are just custom made, and so people can just choose. It's a little bit wrong. It's actually easy. It's actually easy on easy. I just messed up because I suck at concentrating. But yeah. But the the next difficulty level, medium, is is actually hard. That one is for sure. The, I only have a D rank on it, so hard. <laughs> Let's move on. I'm going a little bit over time. I will, in the end, subtract it from the pizza time. I will just make sure that I eat the pizza quickly. This, uh, this time. Alright. Well, I did pretty okay. Let's move on. I'm gonna skip a bunch. This one, however.
messed up at the end. Huh. Oh well. Ooh, very fun song. Final Fantasy VIII. Final Fantasy VIII was actually... But to say Final Fantasy VIII was actually the first Final Fantasy game that I played. I enjoyed it a lot and from there it began. Perfect, but I did okay. <sighs> Epic song from Final Fantasy Nine. <sighs> huh. Okay, and that was it for Final Fantasy. Now I only have two more blocks left, two short ones, but epic ones, and so that's why I kept them for the for the end. Uh, as I said, I'm going a bit over time. Um, so, as I said, I will subtract the time from pizza time because it shouldn't take me that long to eat pizza. Maybe I will try to hurry up a little. But okay, so next up, I want to have F0. And let's freaking murder myself. This song is freaking epic, but so fast. Uh, let's go. I will.
Freaking hell. Look at this graph there. Oh man. You can see how I messed up at the at the beginning where it's just uh, let me sit down, just for a little while. Uh, I had to have at least some really hard songs for today. And F-Zero, F-Zero is just so... You have to play it fast, you know? You have to. Uh, that's what the game is even all about. Yeah. <sighs> Welcome back. Uh, rain and storm. I'm still dancing. Yes, I'm still dancing. I'm going a little bit over time, but that apparently means that you're still able to catch some of the songs I'm dancing to. And especially this one, which was a mess, but epic mess. <laughs> I also wish there were more F Zero music. Really get noticing that getting my limit, my ability to concentrate is fading away ever so ever so slowly. It's not an easy song, this one either, but still. <sighs> Two more songs, and now I kept this one for the end because Undertale. Because Undertale. Let's get glamorous.
Messed up yet. Oh well. Not quite an A rank. Probably was pretty close. Ah. Oh well. Bounce on. Undertale music. Oh, so great. Toby Fox. Genius. <laughs> and the last song. Of course. It has to be. We've got to play it on medium, which is pretty hard for me. I'm gonna kill myself now. Uh. Here. We. Go. Oh dear. Oh. Didn't all too bad, actually. Considering how freaking hard this song is for me. Especially that's a lot of this whole thing is where you just completely twist yourself on the freaking pad. Oh. <sighs> but that was an appropriate finish for the Step Mania. <sighs> Block. <sighs> <sighs> All right, Lucid. Thank you for for dropping by. It was great to have you here. Megalovania, nice, indeed, nice. <sighs> so that was it for Step Mania. For the dancing part of the stream, I went a little bit over time, not that much actually, but I had to skip some songs that I originally wanted to play, uh, but that's okay. Um, I look very dark in this camera, but... Um, uh, what do I want to say? Uh, yeah. So, um, next up we're gonna have origami, so much more relaxed. I'm still gonna make sure that I uh, 
gonna do origami for about an hour. We'll see how long it's gonna take me. Um, and then it's gonna be pizza time, and I'm gonna reduce the pizza time a little bit. Um, um, because I can't do that. Should be able to eat a pizza in half an hour. We'll see. So, but for now, I have to set things up again and have to revert everything with the cameras back uh change my clothes because i'm really sweaty so i'm gonna be brb probably gonna take about 10 minutes all right then we'll get back and do some origami so do that
All right, I'm back. Ah, so, uh, what I wanted to do, yeah, there we go. Ah. Mm, let me also turn the camera a little bit. Okay. Ah, as you can see, changed my clothes. Fresh now. I also opened the window so I get some fresh air in. Um, it's raining right now, so maybe you're hearing it a little bit in the background. You shouldn't, but maybe. Kitty can, yeah. Also, hey there, don't play. How are you doing? Glad to see you here. Kitty is right now not in front of Kitty can. Where is she? She's very excited now, Jesus. She surprisingly has been very calm during the step mania section. And now she now she's pretty 
pretty energetic, so yeah. Uh, no kitty in front of kitty cam. Uh, cat's gotta be cat. Cat's got a cat. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so I have origami paper here. It's just some Chinese stuff that I ordered. That should do the trick. <laughs> Thank you, don't play. <sighs> so, lots of different colors, so we should be okay. And I have a couple of tutorial videos saved in the playlist. Uh, that I could follow. So it's pretty simple. I just follow what I see and those videos are very good. You see um, um, a video from Joe Nakashima, which is probably the, the most, most well-known um, origami tutorial maker on YouTube. Probably. At least it's the biggest one that I was able to find. And he has a, a lot of very good tutorials and has been making uh, videos for a long time at this point. And he has a lot of animals, which I like a lot, if you know me. Um, so, I'm gonna start with this one and the first one I wanna do is a fox. Uh, and inspired by Plipsu's uh, plushy Aurora. I'm gonna make a purple box. So let's see, where do we have a good purple? Oh, maybe this one, yeah. That's also a nice white side, so it's gonna be perfect. Well, maybe a bit blue ish. Is there one? Hmm. This one's a bit darker. Actually, I'm gonna go for this one here instead. Or this one. Hmm. Let's take this one. Yes. Okay. Alright. So, ugh. It's a little bit of a mess. There we go. And, yeah, I'm just gonna take this little piece of paper. Well, let me um, adjust the camera a little bit. It's it's a weird setup because I have the camera hanging right on the, on the microphone arm. And so it's a bit weird, but oh uh, well. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna start the video. And you can see the video in the corner. So you see what I'm seeing. Uh, I don't want to have sound, of course. Here, Joe, no uh, Joe Nakashima, support him. Please, he is doing some great content. Yeah, there you can see what we're about to make. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit smaller. I have a small paper. And let's see, then the video is eight, a bit over 18 minutes long. So probably I'm gonna take about twice as long. We'll see. 20 by 20, oh well. Not quite, I think. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Is that... I'm not quite able to see it. This is the, the white side. And this is the golden side. Okay, so I wanna... Let me actually look ahead again. Is it using a different paper than in the preview? No. No, okay. Just want to make sure that I actually start with the right side. Yeah, so starting with the white side at the top.
<laughs> Folding it open. Then we make this here. Okay, fold it open again. Yeah, it's very neat how he makes the videos. It's very detailed and it's very easy to follow. That's why I like his videos so much. So, and I need to do this for every corner. Don't bump into the microphone. And it's not gonna be as perfect as his. And that's okay. As long as it's still recognizable, it's fine. Eh. I don't do origami that often. Let me pause, because he is quicker than me. Just unavoidable, but that's the nice thing about YouTube videos. You can stop them anytime. Oh, fancy. Kitty is back. What are you doing? Hmm? Just sitting there. <laughs> Background mu music is getting a bit dramatic. <laughs> I have no influence over what's coming up in the playlist. It's more of my... It's uh, my chill playlist, actually, so... Should be more relaxing than dramatic, but oh well. Uh, I messed it up a little bit over here, but okay. And what is he doing? Okay. Especially when I'm doing origami, I often end up in kind of a hunched stance, so I'm sorry about that, you just see, him <laughs> see the top of my head a lot, uh, it's just unavoidable. So good. Okay, and now folding it back again. Sorry, I'm gonna bump into the mic quite a lot, probably. So, I'm definitely much slower than him. Ah, and I'm messing up already. A little rip. Hope it's not too big of a deal. And Kitty is walking around all over the place. But not in front of the kitty can. Oh well. messy but oh well it's 
still. If you don't, if you're not able to see what I'm doing without me noticing, please let me know. Okay, now he's folding it over again. Is that what he did? Yeah, okay. Thank you, don't play. <laughs> we'll see how it it's gonna look at the end. <laughs> Uh, maybe I really should have gone for the for the larger paper. Well, now it's too late. Still able to see, yes. I mean, my hands are a lot in the way, but you know, you have the tutorial video there, you can see at least what I'm supposed to do. Already getting really tiny. Okay, we are over here. We're gonna just fold it over. Ah, uh, look at that. Uh, Look how messy it looks over there. And how clean his looks. Oh man. Oh well. Let's see. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I wanna make sure that I rotate the, wrong, the right way. So it's like this. Okay. Just gonna turn it around like so. Okay. And then fold it over. To the middle. Okay. And this one's probably gonna end up as the nose. Uh, looks so messy already. No, kitty. No. Do I have something here? Maybe this one. I'm gonna cheat a little bit and use some tools. I have to say, I my legs are doing surprisingly well after the step mania section. I thought they were going to be exhausted and I'm not going to be able to stand right immediately after it. But I'm doing okay. Well, it seems like the practicing during the previous couple of days actually paid off. Which is nice. Mm -hmm. So, uh, look at this. Look at this tip there. Ah, such a mess. Okay, we're gonna fold it over like this.
course, I skipped ahead too much, I think. Or did I? Not easy, so many details, yes. It's definitely not easy. And especially not on a tiny paper like mine. Really should have gone for a bigger one, but oh well. And then the same on the other side. Also, by the way, I appreciate that you try to write in English, although I know it's not the easiest for you, Manuela Tina. Oh, it's not your first language either. If you wouldn't have told me so, I would have not known. In case of Manuel Latina, I know it because I know them personally, so that's why. Well, English is also not my first language, so... Well, probably I'm not really <laughs> to nobody's surprise. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What, what did I miss just now? Okay, so we're doing this here now. Just fold it over like so. Okay. a little bit. I shouldn't. Hey Plip, how are you doing? Glad to see you here. Just came right, just in time for origami. And just in time for Aurora's um, a paper sibling, because I'm folding a fox in a purple color like Aurora. Not, not bad. Oh, that's great. I'm glad to hear that. Yay! Okay, uh, I need to go back. Well, what, what, what was going on? So. Okay, we're folding it back up again. Okay. Ooh, this is... Interesting move over here. I'm gonna need to see it again. So... F open it. And then... What exactly? Oh, okay, 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 I think. That's... that's... that's the way? Is that the way? It is the way. Wonderful. Ah, uh, lovely mate. You're from Germany. Oh, cool. <laughs> you were surprised. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Aurora will love it. I'm glad. I'm very glad. And so, by the way, I'm very excited about the Minecraft section later. It's gonna be a lot of fun. 
So, I'll just fold it down like so. Are we hurting cows? Uh, I will probably, and if anybody ha would like to help me out, then that would be very nice. But of course, everybody is free to do whatever they want. I'm not here to tell people what to do. Okay, what are we doing here? Okay. Holding it over like so. No. Need to need to watch this again. Okay. That's the way, but the the paper is getting very Wrinkly? Not wrinkly. Messy. Whatever the word was again. I'll try. Last time there was this flying thing that kept killing me. I didn't have weapons, only carrots. Oh. You can of course get some some stuff from us. Like I, for example, have lots of iron and you could make uh, some armor out of it. Also got plenty of bows that could be useful for you. Enchanted ones, even. We can make sure that you're equipped. For some reason I don't... Oh, I do have a fold over there. Okay, didn't just didn't see it. Okay, we're folding over like so. I'm probably gonna be the same on the other side if I would have to guess. Mm hmm. There we go. Focus working all right. Do I uh, do I have even auto focus on? I don't know. Whatever. It's good enough. Not gonna worry about that right now. Thank you. Uh, da -da -da -da. So, uh, how tilted it looks. Ooh, 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 ooh. It was, it was, um, there was something. Okay, so. Open it up over, over here. And we have this part. And then magic happens. Uh, 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 this is always so complicated. Wait a second, I tr I'm, I'm trying to understand this here. Uh, so, yeah. Folding this one up here, okay. And then... Try to open this thing here, I guess. And, okay, I just... Pull this out. Didn't actually really need to do much over here. 
Okay, just pull it out and flatten it. Okay, it's actually not that complicated. Ah. Hmm. Last time I was on the server, I died and then rage quit. Aww. Naked and unarmed. You also can, of course, get some stuff from us. With plenty of iron. You can also get diamonds from me, so you get some. So you can have some good tools. So, yeah, the same thing over here, of course. Do -do -do -do. Pull this thing out. Let it over here. There we go. Oh, it looks like like a hat, you know. Doesn't have any legs or anything, but <laughs> it's getting there. Get that bling, yeah. Get that bling from us. We're gonna be fancy. We all are gonna be fancy and shiny. Ooh, okay. I have this little fold over there that just completely disappeared in my version. Pfft. Some little detail that I probably cannot achieve. That's just... Uh. Forget it. I managed to lure some cows and pigs into my underground farm, but none of the sheep would come, only one blue sheep. Oh. Gotta have more colors. Ah. Too much fumbling around. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be only able to make this fox because it's already taking me quite a while and look at the time, I'm not even halfway done in this video. It's just gonna be the fox, but it's okay. Uh, but at this point, um, let me real quick order my pizza. Uh, where did I have it? There. There we go. Hope that they still have this special deal that's much cheaper. Wonderful. Okay. So I never ordered pizza from this particular restaurant, so we'll see. Ah. Gonna get some Provinciale and Al Capone. I'm gonna have two because, you know, I need. I need to have a minimum amount to order, so yeah. So I have two, and tomorrow I'm gonna have a little bit left over, which is nice. Okay. Uh, just real quickly, gonna need to make the payment stuff. Of course, I shouldn't have the keyboard <laughs> on the freaking camera when I. Type in my personal information. Uh. Blah, blah blah. No, I don't want to have a newsletter. Address is. Why is it missing my door number? and change it. There we go. <laughs> oh, there it <laughs> is.
Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I'll be right back. Just taking care of this real quick. takes a while I know, not very exciting right now. I'm sorry about that. But it's gonna be worth it. I just typed it in. What, what's the problem? Do this again. If it's case sensitive, I don't know. Codes are you sending me? Okay. Now, please work. Hmm? Okay. <sighs> Order worked. Perfect. Wonderful. <sighs> okay. What am I getting? I'm getting some... Um, why is it full screen right now? What? Escape... Hello? Why are you full screen? Weird. Um... Doo -doo -doo go back so I got two pizzas um, Al Capone which is let me also translate it it's ham champignons which are mushrooms salami and onions and you know tomato sauce and cheese uh, and then provinciale is um, also ham and bacon and um, pepperoni, it's not pepperoni, it's um, hmm? well, what's it called? <laughs> what's it called again? Chili peppers, yes, okay, there we go. Somebody wrote pepperoni as a, as a translation, but that's not correct. That's more like salami. At least as far as I know. I'm always getting confused by that. So yeah, um, that and also corn. There we go. Uh, da -da -da. <laughs> uh, da -da -da -da. Don't need to be excited all the time. Yeah, of course. 
just contemplating the philosophical meaning of a half-folded origami fox on purple paper. Hmm. Oh, also camera got moved. What is your meaning? Tell us your wisdom. It's yet just a half god. Not quite there yet. <sighs> Almost as excited as me googling picture of Wilter the <laughs> Sad. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's just part of it's just part of the experience, part of the stream. You're right. <laughs> what does the half folded fox say to you? Tricorn, bicorn, unicorn. <laughs> oh, welcome back, Lucid! Yay! The one and only. Yeah, also, a mod now. Isn't that great? And the half-folded fox says, it's just, it's just like me. Just a little bit too small for people to handle conveniently. A little bit messy around the corners. All finished, all unfinished. Too many potential folds to be able to focus on which one. Hmm. So young. But already so many thoughts, so many burdens to bear. Poetic. So let me apply some of this here. Uh, no, not this one. Uh, this one. Before it actually let me take some sips of this. Still hot. I brewed this tea right before my stream. It has been more than five hours. Still hot. It works pretty well. Actually, it's still a bit too hot. Let me let me drink it normally. I also need my water. Oh God, it over here. Let me pour some of this water in, just to cool it down a little bit. Also some nice physics here. See the water? This cap is closed. So you have the tea, then air, and then water. And the water doesn't sink in because the air is getting compressed and the holes in there are too small for the uh, surface tension. Like, you see uh, some tiny bubbles, so uh, it's still able to get through a little bit, um, but not quite. Um, but as the water level decreases, the more bubbles are coming up because there is less weight on the air. It's getting compressed less. But when I open it up, let air through, immediately the water is sinking down. Because the air can escape. Yeah. I don't know how, how interesting that was just now. It was pretty boring, but... Uh, <laughs> just, like, just like physics. Everyday physics. And now it's more drinkable. It's good for the throat. <sighs> That's okay, I don't know the difference between pepperoni and salami. Yeah, what, what is the difference? Why, why is it not called salami? That, that's something that confuses me. In German we just normally say Salami. Just imagine uh, they use hole puncher on a big piece of salami and used it for pepperoni. <laughs> oh, 
Also, rinse my mouth. After I drink tea. So that my teeth don't get stained. And then apply this here. My lips aren't so dry. Good thing to have if you're streaming and talking a lot. <laughs> Just some lip balm. Uh, da -da -da -da. I look into the box and also see myself. The potential of the unfolded paper. The folds are already formed. The messy corners, but overall a piece with character. Hmm, that is true. Hmm. I think every all of us can see parts of ourselves in this little piece of paper. I'm unsure what the topic is. I'm seeing origami meanings and uh, and and cured meats. <laughs> it's all over the place right now. <clears throat> Look into the half-folded fox, Lucid. What do you see? One of yourself is reflect back onto you. Why? My favorite color is pro. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> I also like purple a lot. Uh, it's just green tea. It's just regular green tea without anything else. No sugar or whatever. Also just because it's... It's the... Still the best for my teeth. This what I'm very... Particular about. I don't know the word. Whatever. It must be a great flask. One fancy flask. <laughs> I always see myself in a flask. <laughs> oh. But yes, it is a good flask indeed. It is very... It's doing its job pretty well. It doesn't leak. Keeps the things inside warm. So yeah. I see myself in the tiny glue stick. <laughs> it's not a glue stick. <laughs> By now you probably know that already. <laughs> the flask reflects a version of my inner self. Mm. see myself in the kitty cat. I'm not there. <laughs> oh no. Thank you also for letting me know. Just need to rotate it a little bit. Oh, there you are. <laughs> there is don't play. In kitty form. Is to say it has a mirror finish. Oh my god, not the glue stick on the list. <laughs> oh, oh no. No, it's not glue. Yeah, let me show you. Doesn't have any English on it. But yeah. Autofocus? Is this working? Is it even on the autofocus? I don't even know. Let me actually see. It's not. Now it's it. Now it is on. Okay. So, there we go. It's still refusing to work, however. Here. <laughs> this works, but not text. Okay, whatever. So, Lippenpflege, not glue, not Kleber. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyways, let's let's get back to the folding. Ah, uh, where do I have it? There I have it. Lippenpflege. With an L, yes. 
autofocus is a curse indeed it is i have turned it off because it like keeps focusing over and over again and it's doing like this kind of jumpy things and it's not too good so yeah but for this particular section it makes sense to have it so i need to go back okay so we have this here full it up wait 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 i'm already confused The underside. What's happened? All right. So complicated. Okay, so I need to watch it again. So I think he's opening this section over here too. Then. What the fuck? No, 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 no. Ah, this is an comp a complicated part now. You also notice that there are no instructions in the corner anymore. It's getting so complicated that you can't even really show it. Or were there con instructions? No, they weren't. No. I just need to see what he's doing. There's no other way. Think that is correct. All right. Yeah, that should be should be good. There. Oh my god. Pull it back. Me at the beginning of the video, yeah, I think I can do this. Full mouth, I can handle it. <laughs> you know, black, what black magic is this? Yeah, that's, that's just how it is. <laughs> oh man, but if you watch it like 10 or 20 times, eventually you figure it out. Eventually. Uh, I feel like VR origami instructional videos would be a great hit. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, what's it gonna be? Okay, pulling this part over. I can understand this. <laughs> the snout, oh no.
Oh no, it's getting really messy now. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely not the best at this. Even though I'm using origami paper now. Is getting a little, little more definition. Ah, oh, that's good. The tip is getting hidden. Wonderful. That's what I needed. Little tip, if you mess something up, just fold it inwards and hide it. Then everything's good. Also let me just open the door outside. So that I can be extra sure that I hear the doorbell ringing. I don't want to miss my pizza. Ah, look at his face. It's, it's already looking a bit fox-like, doesn't it? We're, we're getting somewhere. We're about halfway done in the video. <laughs> oh no. There's still so much left. Okay. Now we're getting... And we're turning it into a swan. Wait, this way. These steps are a bit simpler now. We're doing some faster progress. Oh, foxy. Yay. Little fox wan. Same other side. The most, definitely the most impressive thing is how would you even come up with a pattern like this? Like it's so complicated. How, how do you even figure that out? And it, in the end it actually turns out uh, looking like an actual fox. It's, it's amazing. I cannot even comprehend. And that's what's especially so amazing about this guy and other origami artists who make patterns. Quillerei, Futzelei, ärgere dich nicht. Bitte Belohnung steht vor, bevor, ja. Yeah. <laughs> bald. Sehr bald. Ah. 
I might be a little bit delayed on, on Minecraft, or I, I might just eat the pizza while playing Minecraft, I don't know. <laughs> you love. Yay. Hey there, Harmonious. Uh, Christina. Hey, hey, hey. How are you doing? And thank you. Okay, so... Well, to go back. Take this out. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Need to watch this again. Taking it out. Flip it over. Probably shove this. Yeah, then shove this up here. No. I took it out, flipped it, here we have the bottom, and okay, that should be the, yes, that's right. I didn't have much entertainment back then, I guess. Just a whole room of paper and imagination. Hmm. Well, but even nowadays, they make a lot of pretty neat stuff. At least I think that's not an old pattern, but that Joe came up with it, with it himself. Or I don't know. So, do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna take this thing out, flip it over, shove this back up. There we go. Ooh, look at this little guy. It's getting especially exciting when it's slowly but surely starts to shape up and resemble what you're trying to fold. People who design origami are wizards, yes. That's the only logical explanation. Fuck, suck, sucks. Okay. I'm just gonna take these out. Go for the tail. What are we doing? Do just okay. <laughs> no, that man. How are you doing? Thank you. Still here. You were also eating pizza. Perfect. <laughs> ah, and also Clumpy. Hey there, welcome back. You know, rich as you can t do such thing while being a being a wizard. Hmm. Now they are witches. <laughs> Demons have to help you with stuff like this. Ah, okay. Yeah, you're right. So, need to pay attention again. So, I, I did this, and then we're gonna fold it over again. Ah, oh, so many tiny details. Open. Alright. 
making a little bag over here. I really should have come with the bigger paper. And then inv invert it. Like so, okay. And then over here. Okay. We're opening up like this. Okay, I think it's gonna get confusing again. Oh, we're just... Unfold everything now. Okay. There we go. Jeez. What, what, what? How much do I need to unfold over here? Wait, what? I can't even unfold this. What? Did I do something wrong? With the tail before? Oh no, it was very faint, but they actually flipped this thing over here. Okay. Wasn't qu didn't quite see that. Step Mania, ah, uh, that's too bad. <clears throat> but they're still the bot, of course. You're back, Crystal, yay! Welcome back. Hi, Pizza Ants. <laughs> mm, I don't know. I would rather say that he kicked my butt. <laughs> uh. Or at least it was a draw. We shook hands and just... Went separate, separate peaceful ways. <laughs> At the Lilith? Okay, okay. I kicked his bony butt. There we go. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. This one is gonna be folded. Okay. That's correct. If it wasn't for the background music, I would have Megalovania playing on repeat in my head right now. <laughs> I don't have any Megalovania music in my playlist, so <laughs> you're safe. Still have to change the category. Oh, thank you for reminding me. I'm so terrible at this. Ah. Uh, crafting. I guess it's crafting. Where's the category makers and crafting? Here we go. 
probably no origami, so yeah, it's just or paper. Paper craft, okay. There we go. Thank you. <sighs> so we inverted this little tip there. Probably need to do this on the other side. To yeah, it's opening up. Okay. Oh no, don't undo the fold over here. Ah, okay, let me, let me step back. No, I made a mess. This is how it's supposed to be over here on this side. Okay. There we go. Now it's resembling <laughs> more of a bird or like a plane. So, so I got that right now. It's supposed to be a fox at the end, at least. And I chose purple because it's gonna be a galaxy fox. <laughs> Inspired by Plippy over here. Uh, this. Well, it's not quite Megalovania, but still, got some Undertale music. <laughs> All right, that's simple. Still hit with Hunter Tail music. You can't escape it. You can't escape it. Probably the same thing on the other side. Yep.
Foxy to you. That's good to hear. That means I'm not doing completely terrible. Also, let me... Just quickly close the window because it's getting a bit cold. There's not much left of the video. Once you go Undertale, you never go back. That is true. And on the lower notes, this... <laughs> I made your table rattle. Oh. Is my voice that bassy, huh? <laughs> I think I messed up just now. Ah, god damn it. Yeah. Ah. Like once I, I thought to myself, oh, I could s skip ahead because I know how it looks on the other side. Well, turns out I didn't. Well, shouldn't be too bad. with the base base <laughs> <clears throat> cooling down after a step mania workout yeah I'm actually doing pretty okay after the step mania um, didn't really need a break which is very surprising Really epic journey in the music, yeah. to fold the complete tail. Interesting. Yeah, the whole thing. Good. It's quite a chunk. Do this. Oh boy. also the challenging part of the later steps. And point you have made so many folds that it gets harder and harder. Oops, sorry. Uh, that ought to do. Man, <laughs> change this chat. <laughs> Ok. 
Okay, we're just gonna invert this part. Should be simple enough. Let's see. Let's shove it in. Tiny little fold for the feetsies. Oh boy, look at this tiny fold. side to nobody's surprise doing this correctly okay On the other side the same thing ah so finicky It seems like the pizza is taking a while. Not it's a problem right now because I'm still busy with this little fox. But oh well. getting there. What is this part now? There aren't even any folds. Oh, 
Well, I think it's not actually folding it completely, but just kind of bending. Okay, interesting. Let me watch this again. Okay, yeah, just kind of gently pressing it in, bending it, which is easier said than done. early not gonna bend it that much more because I think if I keep on doing this I'm just worsening it bit of an awkward step You're gonna be a little bit late on Minecraft, I'm sorry about that. I mean, you can log in and already do some stuff if you if you want to, you don't have to wait for me or anything. Um. Yeah. Okay, let me watch this again. This is another one of these weird steps where it's just kind of rather bending than actually folding. Log in and check my chick machine. <laughs> All right, do so. Do that. Make sure they're still all alive. <laughs> Hopefully, you're not getting entombed again. <laughs> yeah, let's hope for the best. It's a very small detail, but it makes the little feetsies a bit pointier. Tip, 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 tip. Okay, but soon I would like to be done. It's not that much more. Okay, yeah, I'm done 
I'm done with the... F oh, okay, now it's getting... Okay, I can do this too. Dinner? All right. Get some dinner. Also, a good uh, opportunity for everybody to get something to eat before I'm done. All right, and now the back foot, and I hope that's gonna be the last one or one of the last steps. Okay, and another weird step, which is kind of. Okay. Watch this again taken it and then all right Doesn't really work. Oh my god, look at the look at the difference between the back legs. Look the size difference. Ah Here I can see it even better. Oh boy. I can fix it a little bit at least. Let's try this again. Weird though. Okay, and then it kind of twists it. Alright, that, that's it. Now, okay, wonderful. Can give the tail a little bit of curvature if I would like to. But it's fine. It sits properly. Looking pretty cute. Yeah. I like it. There, gonna take the camera. So you can see it a bit better. So, there we go. There's this little guy. Yeah. Not perfect. But it's cute and I like it. Autofocus, please. Please. We don't need the tablet at the back. Okay, thank you. Result, yes, finally. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. <sighs> Took long enough. Was it was a struggle. But we did it. It's cute. I have the wisdom of whole galaxies, but also I'm tiny and cute. Faster than the speed of pizza! Wow! 
<laughs> All right. Well then. Uh, no kitty break now because need to hurry up a little. So yeah, let me just let me let me let me um, switch over to this layout over here. Uh, don't need this here. Dum, 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 dum. Sorry. To move the camera. What's, what's what's going on over here? You don't have to watch me with some adjustments. I'm sorry about that. Now this is the kitty game again. Go kitty meow meow. <sighs> okay. You a little friend. Hey. Okay. Keyboard. I need the paper anymore. We only managed to make one. I thought I could make two, but uh like so often I completely miss estimated the work time well uh, so let's start up minecraft shall we oh so i can't move this a little bit further away from my face finally <laughs> all right all the kids were playing Minecraft yeah yeah it's still popular there's still all sorts of new stuff getting added to it it's still fun That's good enough. Hat for the cave update, yeah. It's gonna be awesome. Alright. Don't need the music anymore. It's so silent all of a sudden. I still play it sometimes, but I'm really uncreative when it comes to building and impatient. Oh well, everybody has uh, their own play style. Uh, no, not single player, multiplayer. And there we have Plipcraft. So, <clears throat> uh, Plip over here is also a streamer who does crafting. She is doing, uh, she makes plushies and she is knitting and makes dresses and um, also sometimes plays some games. And it's a really, 
chill and fun time over there every time. And yeah, she also has a Discord and also a Minecraft server. And so, you know, first of all, check out her stream. Um, I'm gonna drop this real quick into the chat. <clears throat> Plip right now is AFK, but she will be back real soon. Um, so it's a bit laggy because of because I'm streaming, so I need to go with the render distance a little bit. It should be fine. A little bit better. Well, I have all of these sh fancy shaders on, so it's no big surprise. Maybe a little bit more. Uh, yeah, so check out Plip stream. It's 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 the stream that I always look forward to the most. Uh, and you know, I'm following a lot of streamers already at this point. Like, probably have like a hundred people in my follow list. Um, but you know, uh, Lips is definitely one of my absolute favorites. Uh, yeah, definitely, you would not regret it. A, a quick follow. And yeah, she has a Minecraft server, and so, you know, if you're part of the community, and you know, then you can ask her if uh, you'd like to join the Minecraft server. I'm not going to invite anybody myself, because that's not my place, you know, it's, it's up to, <clears throat> up to Plip, of course. But yeah, let's see, who's in here? Uh, yeah. By the animals, oh yeah, that's right, that's what we wanted to do. What do I have here? Oh, I have so much crap. Uh, do I have some space anywhere? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Everything's full with crap. No. Oh well. <sighs> Secret base, maybe if we get more cats, the creepy crawlies will stay away. Yeah, maybe. Your cats, oh. Gotta have some kitties. I uh, yeah, at this point have four kitties. Number one, yum yum. Then over there we have kitty number two. Kitty number three, you can see it over there. Looking over the farm, and it's very cute. Uh, kitty number four. <laughs> what was it again? Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. I forgot. I'm a terrible cat parent. Oh no. Well, kitty number four is somewhere. Oh, well. Skeleton? Uh, or is it just a skeleton horse? It's kind of hard to say. No, it's just a horse. Okay. Uh, it kind of looked like a skeleton was riding it. Lose it! Yay! <laughs> It's kind of a craft, yes, you could say that. A pretty kitty, yay! They're all very pretty kitties, so cute. Mm -hmm. Too afraid something would happen to the animals? Oh no, yeah. Hmm. But I, I let my cats just sit around on the farm, I'm not really taking them with me. <gasps> Because again, I would just be too afraid. And hey, 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 hey! Look over here. We have Lucid. Yay! <laughs> and also, uh, Ilya has said that they are with the animals. So yeah, 
Magnificent. <laughs> so... This is our current animal farm. Ahem. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> there. Hmm. It's a little bit of a mess. So I was thinking it might need some work <laughs> to make it a bit more organized. Ah, there. There they are. <laughs> From some eggs at least. <laughs> Yay. It's raining eggs. Hallelujah? I'm not so sure. The noises, the noises. The noises, oh my god. As in feeding everybody, wonderful. I think... Are you actually... Throwing them into the pen? No, you're... Oh no, there are so many chickens outside now. Oh dear. We need to collect them later. <laughs> uh, all of these baby chicks. No. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, let me actually start with a little tour. Also, where is my pizza? Let me check real quick. Uh, It's long due. Mm. Well. Oh well. Uh, let me give you a quick tour. So. Let me start. At the long house. So, we arrived from, from here, about here, and saw these planes and thought, uh, thought to ourselves, Ah, oh, that looks rather peaceful and nice. Oh my god, I'm getting attacked. Oh dear god. Just want to introduce everybody to Rohan. So, we are calling it Rohan, because there were... The area was very flat, and there were lots of horses, and so, yeah, that's the reason. And we started with this little something here, with this little fence thingy here. So it's still a leftover of our first day. And at some point I also would say this needs to be, needs to be cleaned up, it's not really serving much of a purpose anymore. Um, <clears throat> and this is the longhouse, at least it's supposed to be the longhouse of Rohan. Flip has been working on this one and it's already looking quite nice. And uh, at some point we're gonna have some roads also here. Once this is gonna get removed, you're gonna have a, a road down here, down the hill. And there you can see um, the silo that I made. We just have seeds and crops. Uh, pretty straightforward. Whoops. That was the wrong button. There we go. Uh, yeah, just, just some seeds. And up there are some flowers. And a skeleton horsey. Uh, food? Yeah, food is also tons over here. If you need any. And lots of eggs. Uh, that's good. <laughs> uh, then, a very important landmark. Our pumpkin tower. <laughs> it is a sight to behold. A sight that cannot be missed. <laughs> also, I actually just notice it. You actually added a pattern to it. It's like the light, the the lid of ones is in a pattern. That's nice. Well done. I also remember the day when you first built it. 
you stood stood at the top and you didn't have water with you so you dropped on a bucket on me and i just huh, what am i supposed to do with this don't attack me with buckets <laughs> No, I had like that. It was my first day ever even playing Minecraft myself, so I had no idea like what was implied there and that I uh, should have filled it with water. And so <laughs> at some point, you just jumped down and um, made a splat. <clears throat> ow, ow. Aesthetic, yes, it's, it's antique. From the old age, yes. <laughs> ah, then we got a couple of cute houses. The area of crystal. It's it's small but cute. Some flowers, very nice. Uh, there's my house right at the farm, and the farm I also made myself. I've been quite active. I hear some chests and there we have the bedroom it's a bit a bit compact but that's it's okay and then on the farm we basically have everything with pumpkins and melons and wheat and sugar cane and beetroots and bamboo and potatoes and craters carrots carrots uh, we have even cacti and berries, but be careful because, ouch, ouch, jeez, I don't have to explain that cacti also do ouchies. Uh, yeah, so that's the farm, let's lose it again. Do, 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 do. So continuing over here where we left off. So we got a nice little well. I, I especially like this kind of tiny builds in Minecraft. They are so simple yet so just so pleasant looking for some reason. I really like it. Then we got a little wolf. Probably tamed by Lucid. Lucid has like tons of wolves. <laughs> And then we have a house, I think it was a uh, hermit, yeah, hermits, too many. <laughs> Duggo, yay, Duggo, oh, look at this little, this good boy, or girl, I don't know. Made another cave home in the mountain behind it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I almost would have missed it, yes, this here. Look at this. I haven't even really checked it out in detail yet, but this looks really cool. Meow, meow, meow. If I might maybe root and check out the inside. Oh, there's Kitty. This looks very neat. Oh. Look at that. This is really well designed. Great job. And there you have your, your spiral stairs going up. Ooh. Some secret compartments. Oh, and a nice view. Beds. That's really well done. Ah, there it is, finally. Okay, we'll be right back.
All right, back again. Sorry, I also didn't play any music, so it just was silent. Ah. But I have pizza now. I took half of both pizzas, and the other halves are now in the fridge. I will eat them tomorrow. <sighs> so, I really want to eat pizza, but also want to continue Minecraft and don't want to pause it now in the middle of it for half an hour. So, let's see what I can do. Place the pizza over here. This. I'm gonna try to eat it with one hand. Uh, no, uh, it's it's it would be too much of a mess. I I need to take a break. Well, let me let me finish the, my tour. Okay, let me finish my tour. And then I need to take a pizza break. I uh, might gonna um, go over time with Minecraft or maybe I'm going, going to uh, skip the next section which was the color palette randomizer. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, where's, where's outside? There's outside. There we go. Hello. <sighs> so really nice it it looks really pretty i don't know who made this what was it uh, a crystal that was you <clears throat> that's really nice copied for somebody oh, okay but still really nice and it fits in so perfectly into this mountainside just the right size. Very neat. Hey, lose it. Tail. <laughs> so. Okay, so we have got Hermit's house over here. And then over here, and I think it's also Hermit who is working on this. We have what is supposed to be a mansion when it's finished. And look at that. Look at these structures. Looks really impressive. Oops. And there you can see the outlines and how large it's supposed to be eventually. And there are still structures left. You can see them outlined. Quite foreboding, yes. Foreboding, but very <gasps> impressive. Sorry. Looks like a cathedral, yeah. So neat. Can't wait to see more progress on this. Uh -huh. So then, yeah, then we have <laughs> the animal farm. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> uh, oh well, let's 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 skip it for now. We got some random blocks here and there of the Enderman. Then the 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 mines which I built recently. Uh, yeah, let's do we have some more actually in here. No, it's just the last one. So. Can can two people sit in one mine cart? Is that possible? Or can just one at a time? I don't think so. Oh, too bad. Uh, I'm sorry I'm gonna do this drive, but I will be right back and then you can also drive. Okay? Okay? Or are you just, <laughs> or are you running ahead? Uh, I hope I'm not going to run you over. But yeah, this is... Woo! A bit of a roller coaster here. Oh! Hello. <laughs> oh no, I'm going back. <laughs> How mean! Ah! <laughs> well, let's try this again. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I'm going to have more luck this time. A welcome party! Oh no. Oh no. That sounds... Whoa. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't want to go back. 
Well, the card is gone. Well, oh, no, oh no, it's just minimized, okay. So these were my mining operations to get all the diamond that I have over here. <laughs> I still got some left. Uh, with the with this pickaxe, it it was really quickly to do actually. So yeah, except if I no wait, um, not this map here, but this one here. You can see some of the outlines that I carved into into the underground and it's not even showing everything so yeah <laughs> make mining operations mmo <laughs> yes uh, oh yeah i have a glove <laughs> so yeah there's that there are some additional railways but they are just end up in a Nowhere. Oh, now we are four? Okay. <laughs> we have four now. Well, that's plenty now. Uh, okay, yeah, so there is plenty of lapis and redstone and coal. Well, coal, not so much anymore. And other stuff. Um, somebody mentioned that they need some iron. Oh, yeah, like when... Um... um Flip comes back, I'm gonna give her this. All right, let's go. Whee! I love rails in Minecraft, it's really neat. Oh, oh no! Ah! God damn it. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, it's just you can't really stop it once you're on the path. It's just well. Okay, so those were my mines. There are some other mines too scattered all across Brohan. Um then and at some point we're gonna have a road leading down here. And we here we have kind of the blacksmith area, the open air blacksmith area. Got a nice fire and lots of crafting stuff. The corners. Also really neat. As far as I remember, Crystal was the one who made this too. So also very lovely job. I loved it. Love it in com combination with these tree designs. Really lovely. How to make Moria of the mines. Oh dear. Uh that's that's a bit more digging that would need to be done. But yeah, next to the blacksmith we have a a marketplace. A nice little marketplace. It's not quite finished yet, but also uh, also, uh, Crystal was the one who has been working on this. Very, very lovely. Got a well in the middle and some stands here. We have a flower shop with some donkeys. Flowers and donkeys go pretty well with each other. Both of them smell lovely. <laughs> and a little card. And there was supposed is supposed to be another one. I don't know what what were you saying? You wanted to make like a a something for fabric or hmm. But anyways, this is this is a placeholder for another shop. <clears throat> then over here we have the sawmill that I made. Uh, the design was done by me. And this is a stone cutter, but it's just, it fits in with this sawmill, so why not? Even though it doesn't serve too much of a purpose. And we got lots of wood. So, pretty nice for crafting purposes. Whenever somebody needs wood, here we can find it in all variations. How does the sawmill work? Well, 
As far as I understand it, you just put some kind of rock into it, not this one, but some some other rock. And then it's you can this you can like cut it into like stairs or slabs and it's supposed to be more efficient than normal crafting. I'm not exactly sure on also eggs are everywhere now. Chickens and eggs are all over the place. Just a stone cutter <laughs> disguise, yes. <clears throat> yeah, more market stalls, alright. Yeah, and then we have here the all the different tree types that I planted in rows. So here with dark oak and jungle and spruce, acacia, birch, and oak. And I'm pretty fortunate that all of these tree types grow wherever. So don't have to make sure that we're in the correct biome in order to make them grow. Maybe they grow a bit more efficiently in other biomes. Um, but yeah, they're growing and you can harvest them over here and then put them in the chest and then others can craft stuff with it. Yay. And then we got a cute little house over here. Um, meow meow. You're winding around. You smell the pizza, right? No, 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 go away, go away, go away. They're not allowed over. <sighs> um, I'm not so sure who built this. Um, but it looks very cute, very lovely. Um, uh, maybe... Oh, it was Lucid. Oh, nice. If I may be so intrusive, got a lot of banners in here. Very lovely. Hey, it's a banner shop. Ah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Makes a lot of sense now. Then <laughs> here you can ch purchase internet. Very nice. Mm hmm. And upstairs we have some crafting stuff. Pink banners. <laughs> ah, yes. Whoops, sorry. Very neat. I love the creativity here and what people have built. So, and the last thing I wanted to show off. Well, one of the last things. There is a little bit more. Um, here, this is the library that I, I also built myself. Or library. Um, I was actually pretty lucky when I planted this tree that I also got a beehive. That's neat. And yeah, then we have the entrances. And got the books over here. Can enchant stuff. So just put your equipment over here. Um, there's a chest over here to get all the lapis uh, that you need for enchanting and also you got some enchanted books already ready for whatever you want to apply them on and you also got an anvil that is here for other enchantment purposes and over here we just have a chill and lovely reading section Yay, Plip! Logging in, yay! <clears throat> oh, yeah, oh, 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 sorry. I did a little shimmy. Built by that guy. That guy. I wish I could have made more bookshelves, but it's a pain to make books because you need all the leather and so yeah it's enough it's fine now oh, thank you crystal also designed it myself i also just like designing stuff it's it's neat but i do this normally in a solo player like um server where i have god mode a creative server 
uh, and plan everything out in beforehand and then try to copy my creation over here. There are also um, mods that can help you with that. You just basically make a copy and then do it. Uh, was there an Enderman freaking out? Did I look at... Oh! Okay. Alright, that was freaky. Don't know if it was me who looked at the Enderman or lose it. Or... Oh. Hey, Blip! Pip has joined, yay! Ah, I have the pizza here, but also uh, everybody's here. I don't want to make er anybody wait. Ah, I'm so torn. Well, and then we also have here this lovely creation by uh, Kelia. Kelia. I don't exactly know how to pronounce your name, by the way, Kalilia? Kalilia. I'm bad at pronouncing names, I'm sorry. So we got a bunch of chickens here. And some water. Where chickens can drown. Oh, let's follow this path. Oh, Lucy is already, already on the way. Aha. Uh -huh. Now what do we have over here? Whoa. <laughs> oh gee. Uh huh. Nice. Very adventurous. Oh, another door. Another door. I guess that leads to the mines. This is another entry point. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's look down. So, ooh, we got a secret farm down here. Secret farming operations going on here. Hope it's not illegal. Hope all of these plants are, are completely innocent. And oh boy. <laughs> well, we. <laughs> Here's the second animal farm. Who needs sunlight? <laughs> None of these need sunlight. Well, hello there. <laughs> oh no, you fell in the pond. Oh no. I've got some chickens over here. Oh dear. It looks like it's it's kind of an automatic thing where they just multiply and die and then get collected in these chests, if I'm correct. Oh, oh I got one. Accidentally. Oops. It gets eggs. I see, I see. Well, it got quite an operation over here. Very impressive. And you put also all sorts of crops. Ooh, there is a... There's a bear. You have a, a bear skin? Flip. How cute. Rainbow bear. Aww. Wait, wait. Here. Kinda... Have similar faces. <laughs> I'm supposed to be a mink. Well, actually, let me... Undress myself. I know. Scandalous. Here. This is how my skin looks like. A little mink with a hoodie. Yay. Cozy mink. <laughs> but now I feel so naked. Put things back on. <laughs> hey, hey there, Costello. Thank you. Endermen are scary. Yeah, they can be a bit scary, especially if they surprise you like that. There's abating, abandoning my project and just playing Minecraft now. Uh, with your project... Oh, you, not a project in Minecraft. Just 
IRL. Okay. <laughs> well, of course you need to be responsible, but you know, <laughs> if you wanna join, everybody would be happy. Just saying. <laughs> no pressure, though. All right, let's let's see if we can find a way out again. Everybody's gathered around here. Uh, I guess I take the waterway. Let's see. Let's see. Can we get out? Over here. Ah, there we go. Did it. Sideways kind of the flag. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, and also over here we have some storage. Some general storage. Whoops. Well, okay. I gave birth. Yeah. Just some st general storage. Um, but it's also pretty full at this point. Uh, maybe I'm gonna drop some things over here. Don't mind me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Plip. Uh, plip, plip. Where are you again? Uh, do, 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 do. Do I have it on the map? I wanted to give you stuff. I have you on the map over here. Flip. Since you said you don't have any equipment, I have some diamonds and irons. Uh, you would still need some sticks for, uh, for tools, but... I'm pretty sure you were able to figure that out. <laughs> You're welcome. So that you don't... You're not completely unprotected. Oh, now I'm getting attacked again. Oh yeah, and there we have our ender portal. Very scary. Okay. So that was the tour, at least for the most part. Oh, no, one more thing, one more thing. One. Oh, two more things, actually, now that I notice it. Ouch. Um, here we have a lovely house from uh, Nin. Who is not here today, unfortunately, but it looks very cool. And very intimidating inside. Oh dear. Very glowy. And it goes very deep down. Oh boy. So it just leads to the mining operations. But let's see what's at the bottom. Keeps going and going and going. Oh, there is a portal. I see. Down to bedrock. Well, I'm not planning on going into the Nefer right now. <laughs> oh, whoops. Well, also, I'm gonna throw this one away. And then the other one. You can see it in the distance, you have what is going to be some kind of tree house. This is supposed to be one super large tree and, then, and some stairs winding up the trunk. Seems like a really large project. <laughs> um, who again was working on that? I don't quite remember. It was somebody else. J. J pot. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, over here. Ah, there are so many things. God. <laughs> I'm not achieving anything. I'm just, I'm just showing things off because everything is just so neat. So here is one of the newer creations by Lucid, a little cute potion shop. So the shop itself, 
this little bridge and there can make potions very nice some stuff in here already fire resistance weakness regeneration oh yeah this reminds me also i got a bunch of puffer fish and as far as i know they, you can make potions uh with which you can um breathe underwater also hmm okay anyways so that would be neat wouldn't it and also we got some um also some some swampy area around this potion shop which was really nicely designed looks very natural it's a bit dark right now but you can still see it i love details like this too Not just the buildings but also the landscaping can be done really nicely did a great job lucid Phantoms, yeah, yeah, I heard them. <sighs> There's some mines. The mine. <laughs> Where are they? <sighs> I don't even know. Whatever. Well, that was for the most part the tour. There is still some other stuff. For example, um, Lucid's home is over here, but it's quite a distance and uh, it would be neat to show off. But well, if you, if you want to see it, maybe give Lucid a follow. She also streams and then I love streams too they're very chill they're really very nice lucy is very friendly and sometimes she also streams uh minecraft on this server here so you might be able to see it over there okay so um now let's maybe do some stuff mm. so <laughs> Uh, first of all, oh yeah, uh, uh, who was, oh yeah, it was, uh, Crystal, hey Crystal, yay, everybody's here, love to see it, I really loved seeing everybody here and you all came over just, just for my streams, thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. Oh, we have an, quite a concentration over here of chickens. Oh boy. Little army is for, uh, forming. Oh, oh, did I? Did I mess it up? I don't know. The noise is a phantom. Yeah, it's a phantom somewhere, but I wasn't able to see it. Oh well. Well, um. If you want to fix this animal farm, uh, so this is right here. Uh, it's it's night right now, so you can't really see the map all too well. But this is wrong, basically. You have the longhouse over here. You have the farm. You have the library, and we got you know the holes over here. <clears throat> So the question is, where should the animal farm move to? Uh, it should it should not stay over here, because uh, at least I think that it would be nice to have a path leading around towards the marketplace, and there could also be some stuff built. I would like to have some kind of uh, quarry built next to the mine over here, somewhere around here, so you we can have some nice storage room for all sorts of iron and ore and metals and gems and stuff uh, <clears throat> and i don't know what else we could come up with this area over here but yeah so would we need to have a, a road down here towards the marketplace and then to the library and maybe uh, where are you there we are okay
Got to be careful with my arrows, though. Ah, God damn it! Suck it! Suck it, Damon! There we go. That one. Yeah, we did it. We murdered. Yay! <laughs> so many chickens. Oh yeah. <sighs> <clears throat> I think Lucid once again was trying to intube me for safety. Oh no, that's not how safety works. At least as far as I know. Uh, did you shove me? Root. Now they're all over the place, and now they think that that's their place. All of these chickens, they're taking over. Well, uh, so I need everybody's input. Because I'm, I myself, I'm not quite sure what a suited spot for the animal farm would be. Um, like maybe around here, maybe behind the library, or I don't know. Uh, depending on where we want to build it, we would need to flatten the area and work with some dirt. So I'm gonna leave it open for now, while I'm eating some pizza. Let's do this. Let's 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 take a little pizza break while we're discussing plants, you know. Uh, I'm also gonna sit down. Let me curb down the, the table, the desk. Let's see it descend slowly but surely. Alright. Oh, that was a little bit too much. Okay. Uh, now I cannot, cannot see the chat in Minecraft though. Well, <clears throat> yeah, also I posted a map of Rohan a while ago in the Discord server. In, in Plip's Discord server that is. So that would also be a reference. <sighs> and let me enjoy my pizza. God damn it. Where are you? Come back down. Come towards me. Where are you even going? There we go. Uh. Alright. It has cooled down quite a lot at this point, but it's still good. Makes up for the lost XP. Mm. Yeah. Another story. So me and Lucid went into Nether and searched for a bastion or stronghold, something like that. Uh, to get some some fire rods or however they're called and i got my new equipment fortress that's the word thank you um got my new equipment so i ever, got everything enchanted and everything of diamond and uh before that i never really tried it out so it was the first time that i got into some kind of battle situation with my new equipment and i was equipping the bow this bow right here and you know, I was thinking to myself, I'm gonna be the backup, I'm gonna be at the back and just shoot some arrows while Lucy is, uh, is doing her thing, or maybe both of us are doing shooting arrows. No, I'm gonna try my best to be very careful not to hit her. But I was, was also thinking, you know, when I hit, if I hit her, uh, it's not gonna do that much, you know? So, I was very careless. Well, we got into the first fight, the very first fight. I shot my arrow, hit Lucid, and Lucid died. 
pretty much almost immediately. Like there was just one hit point left after I hit hit her, and turns out the arrows hurt much more than I expected. <laughs> And so, yeah, Lucid or uh, had like 50 or 60 exper experience, like uh, enchantment levels. Uh, and all of that was just gone because of me. And uh, I still feel so guilty about this. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't one hit. Flip. Oh dear. <laughs> Still remember that, yeah. Still remember that too. We'll have the scars. I'm so sorry. <sighs> so yeah, I'm very inexperienced with Minecraft and especially with battle situations, so I messed up. Mm. Let's play some music, actually. I love this chicken shoving me around. So rude. Also, tastes pretty good. <laughs> A wild touch flag. Ooh. Now it's daytime again, so unfortunately I cannot have the map open together with the chat. But, but, but. So, here we have a much better vision now. Here's the animal farm, and we're gonna move it somewhere around here. So. Question is where exactly? Oh, seems like the hole is over here. Okay, um, so maybe around here. Like I would say, it shouldn't be too centered. Like it shouldn't be over here because there is no village area. There are supposed to be houses and stuff. Also, by the way, I think. I built this farm way too early and didn't really plan out its position, so it's like right at the center of Rohan, at the village, and you know, some farms are normally supposed to be like more at the outskirts. So yeah, messed up a little bit over there too. But yeah, um, yeah there are options, like maybe behind the library. Like, those are my two suggestions, uh, either behind the library or right here at this corner. I wouldn't say any, anywhere around here. It's too mountainy and we're planning already some other stuff. So yeah, I know. Perhaps we could build a barn, yeah. That would be ni nice to have right next to the animal farm. Behind the storage cellar, yeah. Next to the longhouse, so basically, oops. Like right. Um, around here. What do the others think about it? Especially, especially what do you think, Plip? Commander. What is your suggestion?
Hmm. I put the map up again. Or maybe I can do this. Wait, 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 wait. Um should have the picture still somewhere. Here while also having the map. Uh, why are you selecting something else now? OBS, please. There we go. You can still see chat. You can see the map. Or on it. Let me just shove it over here, it's just a, it's above my stuff, but whatever. A little bit bigger. A separate district for agriculture, a farming region. Separate from the residential, <laughs> residential area. Hmm. Where you can establish trade links. Hmm. Which we could pick up chickens. I mean, you should be able to. It's not too hard to just pick up a chicken. Why? Come on, Mojang. Why is this not a feature, huh? We should fix that. Together with bunnies. You should also be able to pick up bunnies. And cats. Train stations, ooh. Mm -mm -mm. Getting some infrastructure, very nice, yeah. I love working with with train tracks. It's a lot of fun. Railway railway tunnels. Oh yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Actually had that idea. Not just for Rohan itself, but we could even expand it so that if I zoom out over here, you can see I explored quite a lot already. Like we could have an a underground um, like kind of subway leading to Lucid's house, for example, so like we can take the leisure way and enjoy the path that she, um, Lucid made, which is also very nice, but if you're in a hurry, just hop into the train and zoom, you're right there. Or maybe you want to visit the desert or the savannah, like some one of these villages over here, you know, just have a straight way, like this, pretty much straight over here. Bam! You're right there. Have a little vacation. Chatting with some people over here. This might be some ideas. Oh, sorry. Shouldn't talk while eating.
<laughs> no time to explain. You have to speedrun Shrek 2. Well, there we have an emergency. <laughs> oh no. Flip, I hope you're okay. It seems like you didn't die, so that's good. <laughs> Donkey was calling. <laughs> Oh dear, please be careful. Seems like my microphone is not picking up my eating noises, which is good. I don't wanna gross out anybody. Okay, so, um, we pretty much unanimously said that it would probably the best idea if we build the animal farm like around this corner here. We're, we're not interrupting anything right here, like here we have the little cellar, then right behind it we could have the animal farm. So, first step would be to basically flatten this area. Um, could or could not keep this little pond. That is a possibility, but yeah. I'm trying to hurry up with eating, but I'm a very slow eater. like the mother hen. <laughs> oh, also I just noticed that when I was... When I was putting up the map like this... The other map has blocked everything, so... You weren't able to see. Oh well. I'm a dumb dumb. Well, I'm trying to say, like, right about N7 on this map here. Was, as far as I understood it, the most popular suggestion.
The mines are quite extensive, yeah. People have been busy. By the way, um, it's completely up to you, of course. But do you wanna maybe go into voice chat? In that case, communication would be maybe a little bit easier. But if you don't would don't want to do that right now, then that's totally fine, of course. Alright, lose it. I'm gonna join you. Everybody else can also join. Hey, hey. Oh. Right at that second, I'm getting attacked. I don't have a, some kind of overlay for Discord on my stream, so... Ah, where are you now? Oh, that was muted. Here we go. Hello. Hey! Hello. Hello. Ah, stop, stop running away. I'm trying to find you. <laughs> 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 uh, Alright, uh... I ran away from you. Uh, I'm coming back down. To that like big open cabin right. Let's see. Hello? Hello? Hey. Hello. Hey. Everybody's here. We're yeah. all here. The okay. gang's all here. Yeah. 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 Someone's trying to attack me, don't like it. I was a witch. And uh, so... A wait. A Hiya. Hey. Hey. Uh, wait, I see you. Oh my god. Where are you? I think I'm just gonna finish half of my pizza and let. I'm gonna eat the rest <laughs> later because oh, I'm taking off. way too long. <laughs> no. I'm so lost, I don't know how to get out. Look at the obsidian was down here, the big obsidian. Yeah. Uh, yes, it's this one. Oh, yes. This one. Ah, stop. <laughs> oh, literally, what is wrong with me? There we go. Sorry? <laughs> oh wait, do you not know either? <laughs> oh, oh uh, maybe <laughs> That was close. Okay, I think it, it, it should have been this way. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Wait, I've lost you. There you are. Right in here. Wait, I've lost you again. Ah! Did you go up the page? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. God, it's like I'm ascending. That was like a. S oh my God! Oh, the light! It blinds. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> nice. Good job, team. So southwest. It's kind of this way. Cause there's a nice little valley. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Kind of empty and flat, ideal for farming, ideal for some agriculture. Mm -hmm. It kind of looks like a floodplain, just without the river. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's like a seasonal river or something. Ah. Uh, Grey sheep on these on these lowlands. 
great shape. But yeah, where, so where, where, where I'm from in, in Sussex, it's all technically like a floodplain and old marshland. Oh, and oh, yeah, right. we keep sheep. Oh, it's just loads of them. Yeah, it's like super, super flat. Mm. Yeah, this would be great for agriculture. There's lots of holes and random blocks left by Enderman that we need to clear up first. <laughs> All right, clean up project, let's go. Let's need lots of dirt. We can do this. I hear zombies everywhere. <laughs> oh, they're probably underneath here in the caves. Oh no, oh no. Oh, I can hit. Oh, hello, oh, no. it's an enderman. <laughs> oh dear. He's not a okay, happy... I've. He's not a happy boy. I've locked him in my gaze, so if someone could, like, sneak up behind him. Okay, okay, okay. I'm coming, I'm coming. Him. He shouldn't move. Be brave. Oh, he yeeted away. Bye. <laughs> I just back away. On my way! Oh no! Ooh. I can hear some horrible, horrible howling. That is nasty. Wait. It's gone? It's gone. Is it gone? Oh, it's gone. Okay. Oh, I still hear him. I think he's underground. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, let him stay there. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I see him. I see him. I see him. I'm coming. I'm on my way. Now stay Backstab still. Backstab him. Backstab him. Oh, he's so angry. Oh my god, he's so angry. God, his voice is horrible. I hate it. He needs a scrap salt. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> he does need a scrap salt. Oh, good job. <laughs> Oh, murder. Partners in crime now. The grass block that he dropped. <laughs> Yay. I got a grass block. Yay. We'll be right back. I'm gonna put the rest of my pizza in the kitchen. Okay. And I will join you. Um. Question. Yeah, what up? How are we <laughs> going to move all of these animals? You know what? That's a very, very good question. Uh. Are there any uh, good answers? In a train? Build a train station <laughs> first? <laughs> well, we maybe we'll just have to lure them all over. We'll do some <laughs> great exodus. Right, so we'll need to set up like the facilities first, right? We'll need to build some sort of facility to herd them all over. <laughs> and then we could, like, we'll have collect to do, like... a bank of eggs and that's yeah. like, a bank of chickens. <laughs> <laughs> or we could do some big old like old cowboy driving, driving the cattle across the gorge kind of thing. <laughs> Can you make like a trek of like fences that they have to pass through, like Moses, through the water, but then fences? That's, Maybe. yeah, I, so that's probably the Actually, most sensible idea we've had. If I go to the swamp, I collect yeah. a bunch of slime balls. We could no, probably think make a bunch uh, of feet. Think about it, I also should brush my teeth, so we'll be right back. <laughs> I think maybe on like the top of this little hill here could be the sheep bit. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Um, I can't see. You. I can't see. <laughs> I don't know where I am. <laughs> oh, I'm to your right. Out. To my right. Oh, I see you. Like on top of this little hill. Okay. It's a nice little spot for sheep, don't you think? Yeah. So sheep up top, and then down the bottom. What we have done, what we have in that sort of basin at the bottom. We can have like, like next building. To the pond. Next to the pond, we could put like pigs because you know they like mud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish we had ducks. How great would that be? Oh, yeah, that would that'd be, be so good. <laughs> what are you talking about? I thought I thought there were ducks. I thought the white things were ducks. 
put all the chickens in the pond, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need to start building industrial quantities of fence. I'll chop down some trees. Oh boy. I think there's a bunch of wood over at Mink Sawmill, so I'll Ooh, see, what, sawmill. see what's over there. There's a lot of wood at the sawmill. And okay. there's a lot of trees too, so... I'll just chop this tree down because I've already saw it, but then I'll come yeah. back. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice how you could just sort of like change your mind whilst chopping down a tree and just yeah. kind of like slot the wood back in like, oh, yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, just... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, we've got lots of all kinds of wood. Should we just go for like the good old oak wood? Or we go for classic. I think I think the classic oak wood. Yeah, oh, I think it fits the vibe of Rohan. It's very yeah, it does. Rustic. Well, actually, either oak wood or like stone walls. Like those yeah. stone walls you get around that the edges. Work. That could be cute. Perhaps a mixture. Yeah, I've got I've got some cobblestone on me. There's a lot of stone in the storage cellar. Oh, brilliant! Yeah, why don't we do that? Because sometimes, yeah, let's do that. I'll make some stone walls for the sheep bed closure. Right. Do 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 do. I think I have to run back to my place, it's always the place for tools. I think I'm just going to entomb Kalelia and Mink to <laughs> save them from getting eaten by the phantoms. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I'll entomb the chickens that Olivia has gathered as well. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. I'm oh, getting shot. <laughs> I was just about to entomb you. <laughs> <laughs> In a friendly way. Of course. Yes. <laughs> of course, of course. I thought it was the chickens again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these chickens are up to something. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Sorry for letting me wait. And I've got a whole lot of stone. And I'm dumping all my stone in it. So if anybody wants stone, it's in the Excellent. Right here. Right height. Right height. Okay. Four. Hello, hello, hello. What's all this then? What's all this then? Lovely day for it. <laughs> right is right, so right is right. What's this type of thing? Bottle of water? Tea and crumpets? <laughs> Manchester United? Bridget, that's what I had for lunch today. I had tea and crumpets. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I used to have tin crumpers with my granddad. Oh. Yeah, I put a buttload of stone in there. Cool, I trapped myself in a sheep enclosure. Help. <laughs> I just oh, built a gate. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Yorkshire pudding chicken. Oh, my God, the Yorkshire pudding chicken. <laughs> I'm going to pick up what some wood. Oh, um, what's going on there? What Can kind of wood are we going to make the fences of, actually? Can I do a good Yorkshire accent? No, I cannot do a good Yorkshire accent, oh, unfortunately. <laughs> I know, I know, it's, it's not what I can do. How much? Mm. So 
much value. <laughs> like, I can't do any accents to... whatsoever, to... so... What they go... what... Let me think of a phrase. Uh... <laughs> so you go up north to Yorkshire. To Yorkshire? It's nice if the you got car one of those... by drills. It's nice if you got one of those words in it. Words in it. With those sounds Word. like Yorkshire. Oh, that's Yorkshire. Awful. That's awful. That's <laughs> <right>. <laughs> I can maybe do a bit of a... No. Okay, no. I should stop. <laughs> it sounds very right convincing there. to me. Right there. I can do a bit of an Irish accent, though. It's kind nice. of stereotypical. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could just say it's like Graham Norton. So is this your first time on the show? Oh my god, someone put a Union Jack in the longhouse. Oh. <laughs> Spicy. I've been seeing flags just kind of pop up. Yeah, like... <laughs> someone's on a flag making rampage. Uh, <laughs> Seems so. Phantoms. Oh. I say, are we all uh, go to sleep? Yeah. The phantoms gobble us all up. Yeah, right. Let's do that. Ah, I'm running away. Mink, I might have to steal your bed. I'm in bed. <laughs> How dare? <laughs> Where am I gonna sleep now? Uh, you could sleep in Crystal's bed. <laughs> Where is she gonna sleep? <laughs> uh, uh, sounds like she's not okay with that. So, hmm. Oh, there's a big zombie man. <laughs> hey, wait, hang on. Um... I, I, I'm gonna go back to this section here, so it still serves, yeah, serves some purpose. Oh, it's not enough for all of us. So, Mink, you could probably go back to okay, your bed. <laughs> well, now I'm lying here and I'm gonna stay here. Oh, I'm, I'm in bed, but I am worried because my longhouse doesn't have a third bubble, so <laughs> I might as well be outside. <laughs> Unless we get the purring kitty. Yay. That's nice. Do your cats come to your bed when you go to sleep? They do. Sometimes. Aww. But somewhere during the night, she goes away. She falls asleep next to me, but then when I wake up, she comes. <laughs> I see. Uh, in my case, uh, she comes to bed right when I go to bed. And then oh. she lies down oh. next to me and purrs Crystal, like crazy. I think, I think yeah. okay, she found something for you. <gasps> she found something? A, a, a rabbit's oh. foot. <laughs> oh. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> hunting cute, I like, guess. Oh, <laughs> we have a visitor from the nether. Is it, is it ooh, ooh, what? Huh? Another visitor? A visitor? Oh, the big man is still here. What? Oh. Pigman, what up? Oh. Well, hey, hello there. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Well, we can't trade them. They're Just not, checking out the area and, and trying to steal stuff from our cellar. Okay, I see how it is. <laughs> I'm going to run to my house so I can get more tools. Oh, no. I was trying to lure hmm. a sheep into my enclosure and he fell in a pond and now he's stuck. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> oh, no, he's all good now. Hooray. Yay. I'm just going to test out my sheep enclosure with a single sheep. I'm also gonna get a bunch of shovels, now that you mentioned it. Gonna rock down to electric gun. <laughs> do, 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 do. Come on, sheep friend. Oh, chicken, get out of there. That's not for chickens. It's for sheep. Hello? Sheep friend. This way. Thank you. There's a creeper peeking over the fence over there. I saw Ooh. him. Oh. He just followed me. Sheep! For fuck's sake, you stupid sheep. Come back here. <laughs> come, come, come. Uh, come, come, yeah. Come. As long as you don't hurt come. them, they're sheep? not gonna hurt oh my you. No! God damn. I don't have food! It's fine. Sheep, I have food for you. Come! Come! Did you come trap it? With me. Trap it inside? Wait, me. No, thank you, creeper. Oh, for fuck's sake. I swear <laughs> I to God! Way too late. <sighs> Why is everyone out to get me today? Where did the sheep go? The stupid sheep. Come here, this way, thank you. Sheep. Sheep. <laughs> yep, no, I'm right here. I'm. Hello? Oops. Yep, this way. This way. Come on, sheep. Oh my god, this sheep is so dense. 
Oh, bye, Mink. Uh oh. Oh. Rip. Why? This, what is wrong with this sheep? He's so <laughs> he dumb. I wanted to He's mute like, yeah, Discord no. real quick, and Why now. Are you like, Wait, are you? <laughs> no. Yes, I am. He's so stupid. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, I'll, I'll see you. <laughs> I lured him all the well, way here, and then he's like, oh. and also, I actually he's did. I, I, I think he's. I think he's actually too smart for me. He's like, nah, I'm not coming. Yeah, back. Yes, yes, oh my god! <laughs> Finally, he realizes what you're up to. Yeah, he's too smart for me. Right, and then yeah. I well, yeah, escape. this is Java version. I should probably put in a fence rather than use this, but that's okay. Yes, our oh, success. Look at that. Look at that. Well, that's one. Only glorious. 23,000 to go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. I'll build another enclosure. So, do we make a cow pen exactly next to um, us? It's a mod called Voxel Map. Else. How many well, How many sheep do we have? Using, like, I can, I'll build a second um, enclosure next to it, and then we can either use it for more sheep, forge, or we can use it for cows. For I have installing no mods and stuff. Well, I'll build one anyway, then we'll start to do it later. Else. We're gonna need another pen anyway. Yeah. I don't really have a lot of sheep, seeing as we've got so many different colours. Yeah, true. Oh my goodness, what if we partition them by colour? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that's a lot of work. Wow, that sounds really bad out of context. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh so also that. <laughs> mm. Okay, don't take that out of context, please. Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is Plipsu server, um, <laughs> and I was mentioning before that if anybody wants to join, um, you have to ask Plip. It's not my place to invite anybody. So, yeah, first of all, you should check out Plip's stream. I'm gonna post it again. Highly recommended. Oh, 10 out of 10. Hmm? I think oh. your stream is still on Makers and Crafting. Oh, awesome, thank you. <laughs> uh, where would I be without you? Wait, can you? I change that? No, I can't change that. Yeah. Uh, I have no idea mod? how to you give you... Can. I am a mod, but I'm not an editor, so I can't... Oh, I see. Minecraft. No paper craft. Minecraft. There we go. <clears throat> so I've arrived at my house and I've completely and utterly forgot why I came back here. Uh, <laughs> want to get tools? I know, to get, get stone tools. tools. Yes, sheep. that was yeah. it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I've trapped myself in another sheep enclosure. I need to build gates for these. Hmm, <laughs> gates. Gates are good. Oh yes, leads. I'll see if I have any spare leads. Oh yes, leads. Okay, I will mm. build some gates of some description. Oh, leaves. Sounds nice. Um, yeah, so as for the position, we basically agreed to build it like r about here, behind the cellar, next to the farm. Right? Because if... Uh, yes. I'm building sheep enclosures as we speak. Oh, you know what you I should do? have done? I should have gone Ooh. through the nether. That would have been way faster. Where are you right <laughs> now? I'm at uh... my home. Oh, sorry, not me. <laughs> oh, right, I didn't... Well, uh... So, no sheep, no, stay, blind. stay! No sheep, no, come, no! <laughs> oh my god, it's all going horribly wrong. Okay, chicken, get out of here. This is not a place for chickens. Bye. Cool. <laughs> Sweet. We already have enough chickens. Got Seriously. Chickens. Right. Sorry, not over here. I'm a little bit confused. Okay. Now to round up some sheep. Well, I'm gonna chop down some trees, and if it's the wrong thing to do, you can replant them again. It's no big deal. The pig man's just like walking around with his sword out, like <laughs> looking really confused. <laughs> Having a grand time. Having yeah. a lovely time. Uh, it's an holiday. Here you are. <gasps> the trader! The trader! The trader! Oh. In one of the servers I, I have with my friends, I accidentally threw a trade off a mountain. Because I made my home a mountain oh. and he fell off and he came to trade with me. Horrible! I was an accident! 
I adopted his llamas after he had gone, but I didn't deliberately kill him for the llamas, no way. <laughs> How are they not? He has not. brain coral it was an block. Accident. That sounds creepy. Brain coral? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, how do I- Oh, crap, stop. Mm -hmm. What the hell was that? Beware of the water. Okay. I'm now gonna attempt to rustle a sheep. Like, is there also a way to separate sheep and cows? Because I was uh, trying to look it up, but I'm it seems like... Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god, there's so many animals! Oh Jesus! without leads. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... This is maybe a bad idea. Okay, I'll just take this cow. Come on, friend. <laughs> How do you make a leaf? Okay, you need the slime deep. balls. I'm going to oh. the swamp. I'm going to see if I can collect some slime balls. Oh, I like this furnace. Very cool. Come on, cow. Hey, be my friend. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Oh no! What happened? To no, no, no. Thank you. Come on. Let's cow retreat. <laughs> You're gonna love it, I swear. I wish we could farm like tofu and lentils in this game, that'd be so good. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this cow! This cow is so dumb! Okay, let's go. This is, uh, I'm calling this cow Jim. Classic. <laughs> Classic, oh, classic Jim. What's he like? Classic Jim. <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, there we are. Oh my god, it's so far away. Who's gonna come with me? Come on, Jim. Jim, Jim, Jim. Oh no. No, Jim! Jim, no! no. Oh god. Don't be confused now. Hello. Jim, stuck. I'm here. Uh -oh. What's happened? <laughs> They're all stuck in the little passageway. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh god! We can't come out. Oh god! <laughs> oh, I okay. got a pig! Oh, I got two pigs! It's okay, perfect. it's probably a good thing I built two enclosures then, then we can spread them out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So they're not all crammed in. <clears throat> Battery farms, cows. You, what, do, what do pigs want to eat? Uh, carrots? Carrots? I have carrots. If you need any food, there's the farm right next to you. So. <laughs> yeah, I accidentally stole a carrot, so now I have two piggies with me. And a baby piggy! Yay! Yay! Do we need a third enclosure for pigs? Oh no, we're having the pigs down by them. Oh, hey, Jim. Yes, Jim! Oh, my son, I love you. Okay. <laughs> and that. Should I put them in one of the other pens before we make the water pen? Actually, I yeah, that'll be... If we start separating them out, it'll make our job easier. Oh! Oh no, it's on me! Get out of here! Oh, it's a village. Oh, <laughs> I thought someone built a house out here. <laughs> Bill, right. There's a creeper in one of the. Oh, yeah, I see him. I see him. Okay, I'm just gonna stay away from that creeper. I don't wanna accidentally die. Oh, piggies! Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> no! 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 God damn it! Oh, little baby piggy, no! 
Oh my goodness, creepers all over oh. the shop. Oh god, piggies get out of the way, I'm trying to kill the zombie. Oh my poor piggy friends, no! <laughs> Baby Piggy is so cute. I love him. Spider, oh. oh. No! I'm, I'm actually really low on health. Hopefully, I can get through this guy. Nice! Like your hand's gonna be the look like for age three. <laughs> oh, how the turn tables. <laughs> <laughs> are the are the piggies still around? The, oh, yeah, they are. They are. They are. They are. I can see them. They buy that chest. Oh, Papa Piggy is dead, or is he busy? Huh? There were three piggies, and I only have two now. Oh, oh, I did. I did not. Oh, here's the third one. He's over here. Found him. Where are all the slimes? I can't find any slimes. They're hiding. Oh, wait, I've lost the piggy. Where's it gone? Oh, he's there in the hole. Excellent. There's a piggy over here in the creeper hole. <coughs> Thank you, Christian. I appreciate it. Go on, go on, Piggy. Go on, Piggy. Go, you're going to a new home, Piggy. Oh, Piggy, silly sausage. <laughs> Die already? Goodness, okay. Jeez. <laughs> Zombies out tonight. Get out of here. Nice. Okay. Crap, 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 crap. I'm still confused about where you are exactly right now. Like, are oh. you all the way at the west? Wait, I'm back in the I'm back in the village now, but I can show you. I just need to acquire some food because I'm a hungry boy. Mm -hmm. and, uh, where are you making? Um, I'm north to the farm. Okay, I'm just in the farm about to eat some food. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh no, potatoes! No! <laughs> God damn it! Right. Okay, I'm just. Oh, carrot! Yes. There we go. Give me those sweet, sweet carroty boys now. Why are there no, there are no slimes here? There are only endermen. No. This is disappointing. I'll take you. I'll take you to where we've been uh, building our new farm. All right. Thank you. I'll follow you. Yeah, I'm also thinking about removing the fence Where around the farm at some point. It looks really nice, I just get very confused. Mm. But maybe just have more gates. Yeah, or like maybe wish list this make them more distinctive. Okay. You know what I just did? What? I tried to reload my axe. <laughs> like, I I hit the creeper once and I thought, okay, never mind, I'm just not going to engage with you. And I went away and I pressed R as if to, like, reload. <laughs> <laughs> well, too well. much Overwatch. <laughs> I guess a creeper exploded here. Yeah, we had some Lots creeper problems. Creeper. Hmm. creeper infestation. Oh, God, hey, so dawn crazy. is arriving soon, and I have, I, <laughs> I have gained 
a grand total of two slime balls. I believe in you. Hmm. It's better than none. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so many <laughs> Endermen. Alright, so now that I know where the farm is... I have an agenda, I'm telling you. <laughs> Gonna try to lure over some animals. Let's see how well that will work. I think I'm gonna start with the pigs. Oh my god, you can't even you can't even enter the freaking farm. <laughs> it's completely clogged. <laughs> the pigs the pigs can't even get outside because of it. Oh dear. Well at least there are more than one gate, so that's good. Alright, just Circle around. Come, come, follow, follow me. Gates, you piggies. Distract the chickens for me. Thank you. They would mess everything up. I know that. Here we have the gate. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Kitty! Hey, what you doing? Come outside. Come, come. Don't be shy. In the gate. Do you want me to come over and help with the herding? The herding process. If a few of us... Mm. If, a few, if, there's, if there's like several of us standing around with the wheat, then maybe we can guide... Number them together. At least, yeah, like, like a chain. Yeah, at least maybe we'll have better luck than uh, than just like one of us. Really, like, I'm really taking this idea of us being cowboys. Open up to uh, Corrali animals. Oh crap, that's a river. No, I fell. I just tried to remember the irrigation channel. My mind immediately went to McCree and his stupid voice lines. <laughs> Whoa there! Easy, easy. <sighs> it's hot. Then you run away. <laughs> you run away. <laughs> and then he shoots in the back of the head. Yeah. Oh, good times. So yeah, this is not working. Yes, you can oh. see they're oh, all yeah, stuck. Bro. Okay, we might like, have to. Uh, I swear yeah, they, break they it hired down. Like, the same voice actor as John Marston as well. Like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> stand back. Gonna hurt. Okay, I'm gonna let you do it. Okay. Okay, that seems to maybe help. Okay, okay, there, there okay. we go. Now we have a pig exodus. I'll just replace that bit of the fence that I chopped down. And whoa! Okay, there was a pig in the way. <laughs> that didn't quite work. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Oh no! Huh? Oh no! Why are you not following Wait, me? Okay. Come on, come on, please. No, okay, don't go is... into the mines. This is dangerous. Oh, that's a gate that I picked. Oh, okay, yeah, it's fine. Why are you not paying it attention? Sounds like it's not going to plan. <laughs> Have you seen that post? That's like. Okay, the pigs are free. The pigs are free. The pigs are free. <laughs> okay. Mine liberation. There's so. pigs and like one sheep who are all free. <laughs> right, Mink and I are on pig patrol. Yeah. There's one black sheep about... going through a room, but I'm sure he can just, you know, decide. It's you okay. Have you seen thing about cowboys being the same thing as witches? But what? they're just, no. they're just opposites. Opposite witches? Like, <laughs> what? You've got, you've, got the, you've got the witching hour, and then you've got uh, high noon, you know? Oh my god. Hi. <laughs> 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 you know, they got their hats, and they got their signature 
things to ride. <laughs> and horses. Mm. I'd like the kind of mystical and mysterious and like, you know. <laughs> Makes totally sense. How are you doing with those pigs, Mick? I'm doing okay. Oh, so far, I haven't lost any. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. Well, I've speaking of. Here. Oh, okay, there's one, there's one that's going for a walk. Alright, I'm coming back to help you. Uh, I've got them. Yeah? Okay. I have got some sheep following me and a cow. Nice. I think. At least one sheep. Nice! Okay, seems like the... Is there any ah. more that want to come with me? Alright, make watch out behind this big ol' hole. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to turn around to look. <laughs> oh, it's like a waterfall of pigs. <laughs> uh, sorry, I need to make some changes. <laughs> Okay, my entire night away was worth it. I have oh, four no. leaves. Oh no, don't play having problems. Uh oh. Someone, someone go and help. Uh oh. Oh, oh that oh, piggy pig. is, is doing it by okay, itself. The pigs okay. actually do a surprisingly good job of getting out of that hole. Um, I think that we've got them all still. I feel like there was maybe one that escaped earlier, but since then we've, we've kept all of them. So, mm -hmm. good job, team. Oh, now they're oh, getting distracted. Going rogue, going rogue. It seems like whenever there's another person, they just completely lose interest. Okay. What colors of sheep do we already have over there? Um, I have a green one and an orange one following me. I think there's a green one in the pen already as well. Like a dark green one? Like a the light orange green one. The orange one is being very stubborn. Why is that pig? <laughs> that pig looks like he's Okay, I'll like try and bring orange. over like the primary colors so we can yeah. like, breed the other colors. Okay, yeah, yeah, you do that. And then, oh my goodness. I will try, once we have a selection, maybe I'll build some more partitions and like try and sort them roughly by colour, ah, at least yeah. family. I really want to give it a go. I don't know how hmm. it's going to work, but I'm going to try. Oh, for goodness sake, you stupid pigs, come on. I'm trying to pick those up that... Uh... Okay, I'm going to get that straggler. Come back here, thank you. We were doing so well and then it all fell apart. <laughs> it all fell apart when Nick was out the hall. Come here. I'm okay, sorry. I'm gonna I'm just gonna take these guys who are oh no, they're not interested now. Okay. Oh right. Maybe if you move you first, then I will wait with yeah. my Okay, I'll take I'll take these two and I'll just go. With another hole, god damn it. Inside. Come on! Come, come, come on! Come on! Come on! You two, like, come on! There we go. I'm just gonna put both the cow and the sheep in the same one for now because it's going to be too much trouble to get them apart. Maybe. Would you just... <sighs> My god! You two! Seriously! You go to the side... No, I only want the cow. Now let me... My oh, goodness, the... there's two pigs. Oh my god. Really not having it. No, 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 no it's not... coming out! Oh, for goodness sake! There's a carrot, look! <laughs> Uh, let me, let me... I'm having some oh, no. stress. <laughs> I'm gonna equip <laughs> something else and just eggs. try to shove them while you hold the carrot. Yeah, just shove them in, just, just shove them in. Don't, don't turn around. Yep, okay, nice, good, that's one. Okay, 
that's where I just saw. Oh, hey, 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 friend. Yeah, you can have this carrot oh, come in here. Yeah? Yes. Like that? Come, come, come. Show you a good time. Come on. Come on, big. Come on. Hello. Got carrot. I heard you like carrot. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that that was a good plan. It was not. Oh, that was an adventure. Hey, I have arrived with the primary Oh my colors. goodness! You actually did a great job and we're still here trying to show Oh wow, yeah. Pigs. Leads work a lot better. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh dear. No, 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 no the pigs get back in there. Okay. In the meantime, I'm just shoving pigs. Okay, I hope okay, you all gonna, enjoy okay. that content. <laughs> Quality content. Please! Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, somebody close the door. <laughs> Maybe it helps left. if we if we focus on the same animal at the same time, so we all walk around with yeah. the same food. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. And now. Welcome back, Sira. <laughs> and yeah, yeah Miran, we are playing the, on the Java. Oh, it's hot. Hello, I'm here. I have carrot. Come, get the carrot. Yeah, we don't have ah, it shouldn't be in the mood. Please, 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 please. No, 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 I'm Don't. here. I'm right here. Come on, come on. <laughs> yes, very good. Okay. Yes. Yes. Come. Yes. Oh Ooh. my God. Yes. Oh, oh my God. God. I we did it. I was so pleased. Good job, team. Good job. We have really succeeded on this day. Girls. We can oh, be proud of ourselves. Oh, there's a pig in there! Oh, what? How? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're not a pink sheep. Come here. No. <laughs> Come here. Come over here. <coughs> okay, right. Right. Uh, Miran, that is not no, up to me to decide. This is Plipsu's like server. Um, yeah, so, first of all, nice. I recommend this is working really well. like her one person stream. Just the herd. Check yeah. it out. Yeah, it's nice. really a great time. Nice. Good job, and if you become part of the community, you can over. join the Discord and uh, ask Plip if so. you would like to. I lost the sheep somewhere. <laughs> if uh, you okay. would like to but, join. Um, yeah, that one's lost. <laughs> lost yeah. forever. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is it smart to sleep? Yeah, let's have a little snooze. Oh yeah. Perhaps. Let's I... avoid as much creepers as we can. All the sheep oh, on the way. We want to still relocate here. the pigs down by the water at some point. Yeah. Relocate them again. Yeah, so <laughs> if we build a pig enclosure and then relocate them. Sleepy time, sleepy time. Oh no, come back. Oh, clearly, I think you picked up the lead. I think you picked up the lead, Kylia. Also, are we going to into bed now, or...? Yeah. You need to put the sheep away. Uh oh. Oh, oh. Did, you, did you kick out a reason that came Uh, again? yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> <Hello>. <laughs> oh, classic. <laughs> I found this pig, and it was just standing still, and I was like, what is wrong with this pig? And it turns out that it was actually me. <laughs> oh, dear. Howdy, person. Creeper, creeper, oh, creeper. Cactus person. I see him, I see him. The cactus person. <laughs> yes, let it, let's go to bed before something. Yes. Chaotic happens. Mm. Chaos, chaos, chaos. Today I will build the rest of my longhouse, but it is not this day. <laughs> Lots of fresh air. 
Yeah. <laughs> Everybody able to find the bed? Yep. I'm one. I'm in one. Already in it. And who, who isn't in one? she is. There's another bed free in the little pen thing. Yeah. Oh, I fell off. <laughs> there we go. Yay. Okay. Oh, hello, llama. <sighs> That's okay. Yeah. Are we uh, focusing on more pigs or are we gonna do sheep and cows? Let's, uh, let's build a pigsty. I'll build a pigsty at least. Maybe I'll put like a little hut for the pigs. Hmm. Hay bales? Oh yes, this is all coming together. It's gonna be nice. So even though you cannot really separate cows and sheep uh, no. with wheat, uh, I'm still gonna lure them over and then when they're already already there, you can maybe use the... the yeah, the... then usually to separate them. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Alright, so... It's gonna be a mess. Oh well. It's a mess anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, gates uh, don't really worries. work too well, so. <laughs> hmm. Uh, she could have a rest if you get in a bit sick. Oh, I'm a loose piggy. Thank you for dropping by. Yeah, it's fun. Join it. Yay. Sickness. Oh, <gasps> yeah. Maybe Have a good rest. And the sheep that was lost, but it's no longer lost. Okay. So come over here. I'm gonna quickly close the fence down again. Uh, let me I, place it. That we can have one each. <laughs> Would you like a single lead to help you? I think that that like would be fun. nice, but <laughs> going one after another is a bit tedious, I think. <laughs> so I'm just gonna try to gather a oh, huge boy. herd. Okay. Um, if you see me luring this huge herd around, maybe try to not get close. Because I think That's whenever there's another person um, coming into rage, uh, rage, range, uh, they lose I'm interest. Holding... Yeah, I'm not holding any weight. I'm kind of on a, a wood zombie adventure. Ooh. Unless, uh, is there any birch wind flying around? Probably some. Uh, in the sawmill sawmill. is plenty. Sawmill. <laughs> Come over here. Yes, we're good. We're good. Come. Oh, right, um, I'm gonna give you a wider... Oh, hey, Fee! Oh, this is a mess. <laughs> what have I done? Ah. 
I hope that also nobody gets motion sickness of my way of playing. Um, movement is normally quite hectic. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it doesn't help when you're herding so many animals that you can't see the floor beneath them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's definitely a thing too. Barn could be made of like crimson wood. Crimson wood. Like classic. Yeah. Red barn. Yeah. Is that uh, the wood you get from the Neefer? Yeah. Ah. We don't have any of that at the sawmill, do we? No, we don't. I'll have to go and one collect it. Mm. I don't know. There's a warped forest near the portal, but that's the blue wood. Oh, gear up and look around. Yes. Oh my god, I accidentally made gates instead of fences. <laughs> oh no! Jesus Christ, oh, and now I have rip. 33 birch fence gates. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to make an enclosure completely out of <laughs> gates... <laughs> I mean, I might make it easier for herding. I'm so angry. Oh, Christ. <laughs> yes, let's go. Do we need the gate open again? Because there's a lot of animals walking around. <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> the gate opened somewhere. Well, I, I oh. let out a bunch of sheep and cows and I'm planning on collecting all of them. It's oh, just yeah, I cannot lure open. all of them together. <laughs> so. I was like, why is this area full of sheep and cows? Sorry. <laughs> Um, also, I'm gonna, for now, if it's okay, I'm just dropping in all of them into one pen. I'm just gonna put them all into the sheep enclosure, even though it's cows, but we can separate them later. I just need yeah, them to be ready. somewhere enclosed. So, there we go. Okay. It was tour number one. Okay. Okay. Oh, you're already. Yeah, I found some bunch. wandering hmm. around. Oh, kitty, yum yum. Come and collect some pigs. <laughs> I'm 
Can I check the inside of the library? Oh, I see a rogue cow. Okay. Standing on another? Oh no, it's just very tall. Hey piggies. Come, come. Come with me. Okay, you're all stuck. Good job. Good, good job. <laughs> and you'll be in a chest. No. Okay, not quite. Okay. Whoops. That was an accident. Oh, well. oh no! Such is life! Yeah. Onwards! <laughs> Onwards! <laughs> okay, yeah, actually this. Is, uh, no! Stop it. Come. Open it. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds to having a good time. Oh, it's so oh, yeah. Where am I going? Uh, we need to go down. Oh, yes, over here, over here. Come on, my little zebras. I made you a lovely water side enclosure. Uh, yes. Okay, I'm not allowed to go in. <laughs> We got quite a few cows and sheep now. Should be plenty and <gasps> sorry. Seems like we have all the colors. Pigs. Or at least most. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so angry. Okay. Okay, I'll try and distract these ones. Oh, oh my goodness, okay, one left, one left, one left. One left. Oh, no. Right. I want my boots. Try and get this one. Okay. Pig! Come over here, piggy. Piggy, piggy, piggy. I'm here. I'm literally right here. Come. Come down. Come. This way. This way. As for the chickens, do we actually want to try to move them or, you know, we're know. just yes. gonna take a bunch of eggs <laughs> and, you know. We're gonna yeah, go everywhere eggs. anyway. <laughs> but we can make a chicken coop with, like, fence and and the roof so they can't go anywhere hmm. and uh oh, oh, I think, oh maybe oh, i can make oh. like a small chicken coop. and the sorting system so it catches all the eggs yeah keep some of them with some hoppers that'll collect the eggs kind of like how kalia made it but uh, more aesthetic yeah sounds good How much wood do you think we'd need for a barn? I'm not sure, but I reckon there's definitely enough in the sawmill. Yeah. Oh, for, as in like crimson wood, we don't have any of that. Oh, oh I don't know. That's right. Uh, hmm. 
No idea. But if you have too much, we can store it and it might be useful for future crafting projects. I have about two stacks of logs so far. It's pretty good. I mean, it depends on how large you want to build them. Lots of shroom lights as well, so that could be used for something. Mm. Like that too. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> oh, my axe is running out, so I guess I'm. Coming home with three stacks. Mm -hmm. Isn't better. Are we, uh, oh, we're not I guess not. <laughs> Almost empty. I don't know if it's because they're all wandering around. Oh yes, around. they are all just wandering around. That's, that, is, that is possibly why. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> oh no. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, also probably I should say that offici uh, officially. Uh, I'm gonna skip the color randomizer part of my stream. I'm just having too much fun right now with Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, but yeah. <laughs> I'm still gonna do the Bisshawk Shuffler once we're done with Minecraft and most of, most of us are gonna go to bed. It's getting quite cramped in here. I'm on my way with even more cows and sheep. Can we please, you know? Nice. Did I try right. to sort some? No, not yet. I should probably do that <laughs> before we go any further. <laughs> we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, for goodness sake, come over here, you stupid sheep. Right. Let's go. Oh, cow, you fell in a hole. Well done. Oh no. You know what? You can just stay there as punishment. <laughs> Is there a chicken in the cow pen? Oh my god, okay. Oh my god. Lost them all. I really want that purple sheep. Like, he's my main friend. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Standing still, not doing anything. 
<laughs> oh god. Oh no. It's like being caught in a tidal wave of cows. <laughs> oh, oh no, there's a zombie in here. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, no. We probably should um, put some lights inside the pen and not just on the fences. I, I have an axe. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry, sheep. You got the way of my sword. Nice. Okay, I'll put some lamps down. <laughs> By which I'm in torches. <laughs> ah, wait, there's another one. There's a sheep in this hole! How'd you uh, get what? down there? <laughs> Maybe I'm here. to blame. Oh. <laughs> like... <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's when you get on me. Yeah, it's definitely good. Oh, it's so crowded. Okay, uh, I reckon that maybe it's time to do some sorting. So we now have a freed up pen, because I moved all the, all the pigs out, so maybe that could be a cow pen, this one up here. Oh. Yeah, yeah no, that's put- yeah, 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 put the cow in there. <laughs> I just got it out, so yeah, I'll, I'll put it back in. Put it over there. Lucid, do you still have all the leashes? I have three. Mm -hmm. Right. So enough for one each. <laughs> okay. So why don't we each get so. in and leash a cow? Maybe one Thank should you. be at the dun, back so dun, no dun, 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 dun. All right, yeah, okay. So one, uh, three of us go in. How many do we have? We have four of us here. So if we, if three of us go with leashes and then one of us uh, stays behind, maybe with some wheat to to pick up any stragglers or. Oh, anyway. So like, is someone else my leash? I already have one. We, should, we all should have one. All right. Yeah? Oh. Well, this is not mine. Oh, now I have so, two. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, I picked up again. God damn it. Does anybody want... Okay, there's a leash now. Oh, that's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll distract the sheep. Okay. Oh, they'll just, like, converge on you. That's... How do I... Okay, I have attached a leash. I have attached a second. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Come on. Oh no, I found that hole. That's more than the amount. Fuck. I'm having a horrible time here. No, not the sheep. My cat, my fantasy. Oh no, and I'm falling. I'm falling. How do I get the leashes off them? Uh, you just right click again. Oh yes. There we go. Amazing. Brilliant. Good job, team. Technology. Uh, oh. Amazing. Where did my leash go? Did I just I not pick it up again? I picked all of them up somehow. <laughs> you. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put some dirt here so that it's, it's a little uh, not so easy for us to just fall off the hole. <laughs> ah! No! <laughs> <laughs> ah. Whoa, okay. There is so much sheep. <laughs> you can hear this in my sleep. Alright, let me. They're kind of stuck. Let me push them out. <laughs> oh, they're not very good at falling. Brilliant, thank you. Uh oh, uh oh, I'm starting to realize. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. This chicken, this chicken really, really, really wants to be in with the, with the cows. <laughs> He's like, so cute. No, no, she. <laughs> oh, I've lost a yellow. Okay. Oh. Right, let me just get these guys into the enclosure and then, uh, and then I'll, I'll, I can maybe go and pick up that rogue. The rogue sheep. I got it. Oh, brilliant. No, a cow went back into the sheep enclosure. <laughs> no! It wasn't on the leaf! <laughs> okay, um, my money to extend this cow pad, pad cow enclosure. Cow so I'm just gonna, I was like, <laughs> cow patch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if only. Oh, oh, brilliant. Tons of cobblestone. We'll go to the cow patch and then go to the cow pasture. <laughs> 
The potato ranch, you know. The potato <laughs> ranch. <laughs> Alright, you guys can keep bringing cows in there meanwhile. Just We're making good it. progress. Mm. We're doing really well, no, though. You don't. Oh, no, you don't. Come back in here. <laughs> I'm really impressed. You wouldn't have been able to do this on your own. <laughs> oh my goodness, can you imagine? For sure. I think we would have just killed everyone except like two of each species. <laughs> White sheep has escaped. Good mistake! Okay, uh, so we now have an extension to the cow patch. Let me just open this bad boy up. Oh, look at you, this cows! Look how much more space you have! Room free, my friends. Oh no, come here! No battery farming for you. Nice. Ah. Gate in, seeing as I have the gates. Nice. Oh, oh no, shoot! <laughs> oh no! Hang on, I can help. Um, Where's my lead? Let me okay, build her out the cow. No! Oh, oh my goodness, no. we lost the blue one. I'm so sorry, that did not help at all. all right, let's try this again. Ah! What the hell is that? Off the edge. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stand over here with this wheat, and then hopefully that'll. <laughs> I lost my leash, and I have no idea where it went. I think I have it. Oh, okay. Ah, thank you. This is terrifying. <laughs> I feel like I'm being eaten. <laughs> you feel my pain now? <laughs> yes, I feel your pain. <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh god. <laughs> oh god. It's, so it's very feisty. <laughs> ah. Get out. No wheat for you. The, the end is in sight, there are two left. <laughs> oh, yeah, thank you, cat. And, uh, okay. The next to us also has. Oh, cows. yeah, there's one. There's a cow in my face here. <laughs> I think there's one. Two? There's one. Two in uh, this one. Then four in the one yeah. next to this. Oh, yeah. There's four cows. I thought there were only one cow in there. They thought it was mine. The carnage. Absolute carnage. <laughs> I would expect nothing else. Excuse me. Oh, one. There's one left. One left. Hey! We Getting there. Until the day is done. Cows have almost come home. Oh, they're somewhere. Alright, you got yes, it. Yes, yes. <gasps> Is that the last one? Woo I think so. Oh my goodness. Hell yeah. Amazing job. Well done, team. There are some cows yes. on, over here on the other pen. Yeah, those are the last ones. Yeah, so we can bring those guys over too. Oh, some of my leashes. Easy. Brilliant. I want to extend the wall over here a bit because I feel like they could jump up and around. Okay. Hmm. Oh, goodness. Chaos. Come in here. 
Come on, Kyle. Thank you. Let's see. Thank you. Get in here. Thank you. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Good job, team. Good job, team. Right, where was that wall needing extending? Um, I fixed it, I think. Oh. Unless they're really, really smart, but I'm sure it'll be oh, okay. yeah. Although, do we dare underestimate their smartness? <laughs> <laughs> Why do birds suddenly appear? Nice! Right, so next up is going to be separating them by color. Yeah, uh, I'd like to try. Give it a go. Hmm. I've got some red ones here, but I don't really want to come out. Come on! <laughs> ah. Traffic jam. Okay. There lovely, lovely, very lovely. And then I'm going to close... No, the green sheep! He escaped! Okay, it's fine. I'll come again later. Get over here. Those two are getting spoiled right now. No, no, don't, don't leave me, don't run away, I swear to god, if you guys run away, I'm gonna be so angry. Okay. No, oh no, no! <laughs> Let me no! try to lure them inside. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Up the two, jump up the two. That's it. And then we're gonna jump. Down. Yay! Yay. Oh, that white one still needs to. Okay. Drop oh, another white one. I don't have any loot anymore. Suddenly appear. Every time. There we go. I think they're all. I think they're all there. Okay, good. Yay! Okay, now I'm gonna leave them. For another day. Lovely! <laughs> I was thinking of doing... Yeah, I got the red ones in there. So I was thinking of doing warm colours and cold colours. Alright. And then maybe like one pen for the black and white ones. Black, white, okay. and grey. If we think that's a good way to do it, but I can always build more pens. If you want more, more, uh, more categories. Like I definitely think we're gonna have red, orange, and yellow together, or maybe like red, pink, and orange. Yeah. And then hmm. shades of blue. Cause there's a couple of shades of blue. And then maybe like shades of green. Or green and yeah, like on the color wheel, you could like go from magenta to yellow, and then. For cold, you go from green to violet, I suppose. Oh! Oh, oh yeah. Alright, it's away from the pen. It's okay, just a small but... hole. <laughs> okay, so the, the pen over here is gonna be for the warm colors. Yeah, so red, orange, Magenta. Oh, Ow. skeleton. Bye. And then maybe we might need another pet. We can have like warms, cools, and neutrals. Mm-hmm. Ah, there are the piggies. I see. Oh, they got some water too. That's nice. Oi! Ah. Oh, and there's a creeper coming towards us as well. Oh, 
right down okay. here. Expand the torch blanket. Yeah, good idea. We could cut into the woods as well, because they like to spawn in the woods, don't they? Hmm. Shield. Oh, if you have a spare one, I just haven't bothered to make one yet. Sorry? I said I just I just haven't bothered to make one yet, but if you have All a spare right. one. Yes. I always have a nice banner that goes with your skin. Oh. So it'll look you'll have a nice steam going. <coughs> Funky and fresh. Oh hang on, I need to clear my inventory, it's a bit of crap. Um I don't need all this rotten flash. Oh, good sake. Damn it! Spilling out! It's filled with eggs. Every test in our hands gonna be full of eggs before long. Oh, I still have a cow and some rampant piggies here. Oh, oh three cows. Oh, was that back in Rohan? Yeah. Four cows. Any sheep? Right. <laughs> I'm on the way. Two sheep. Oh, hi. Oh, go away. What? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I've got one on the lead at least. Okay, I'm on my way. Oh, here's your shield, by the way. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. For the same gradient. The oh, this is rainbow. such a look. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> 
fucking fresh. Oh wow, yeah. I keep looking very put together. Oh, <laughs> oh no! What's this gravel block doing here anyway? Uh -huh. Is it for sale? <laughs> uh, no idea. I think I'm gonna go in a minute and to go to bed. Hmm. Yeah, same. I'm gonna put these animals away and then I'm uh, gonna head out. Yeah, it's getting pretty late. Uh, someone's gonna take this like cow away from me though. Two hours. We, we must be like going over the schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Which is totally fine. I'm enjoying myself here. Next yeah. so there was supposed to be the color randomizer. I'm gonna skip that one, and so next one oh. would be the Bishawk Shuffler. Oh, I see. So oh. basically, it means uh, I'm gonna play with an emulator, um, but the ROMs, the games, are all mixed together. So I'm gonna play oh. one, and after a certain amount of time. Uh, it automatically automatically switches to another game. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you already you already understand. It's it's yeah. quite a mess. <laughs> but that's the fun part of it. Yes. And so I'm gonna play a bunch of um, N64 racing games. Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Well, they won't be able to stay through all of them before it goes off. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I mean, the vault is also. Who's this sheep doing out here? I was it's planning on getting like a like a sleeping schedule this week, but both times <laughs> mm. it's flip. Flip has been there to foil it. Oh, <laughs> you're the common denominator. Oh, it's flip. <laughs> <laughs> and now it is me. Good job, crap. team. Good job, team. Oh, look at this. All the warm colors. Help! Help! Uh, <laughs> help! Why did they just... Why did the oh, sheep no. just get shoved off the cliff? <laughs> what, what the I heck? I left the gate open as well. Because I fell off the cliff before I could move We want the magenta ones in there, don't we? Yeah. yeah we want we're... kind of a warm magenta in there. I think so. Oh, Grey yeah. ones escaping. <laughs> There's some cows in space in the world. Come back! Come on, you idiots. Oh, come on, you stupid, stupid animals. Get in there. No, don't eat that. Thank Too you. Too tired for this. <laughs> Too tired for this shit. <laughs> Running up sheets. You found respect for the cowboy life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gosh, it must be so frustrating. Oh my god. 
sheep are like actually the stupidest animals in the world as well, and they just like die all the time. Oh god. My uh, oh no! Ah. I had a side of relatives. My dad's aunt. Okay, I got him. I got him. In Yorkshire. Fuck's sake! <laughs> and uh, my dad used to have to go and like no. help the farm on his like yeah. holidays, and he he always tells me he's always like sheep are literally just the stupidest animals in the world. Like they'll just die for no reason. They'll really? wander off. Yeah. Aww. Sheep are my family's favorite animal because their last name is French for sheep. Aww. Aww. Oh, fuck. I actually raised a couple of sheep once. Mine Ooh. stands for bear, actually. Bear? Ba? Which is not quite the German word for bear, but still. It's like somehow connected. When people hear my surname, they always think I'm. Have like an Asian descent. It's, it's Ling. Oh yeah. Oh. But it's actually it's actually from like an old Nordic word, I think. It's got the same roots as like Lincolnshire. Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, I, I'm totally not looking up right now. Uh, it means. Referring <laughs> 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 to the parish of Ling, Somerset. Oh okay. Huh. Okay, there's a blue sheep at the back here. I knew it. Yes, come with me, my friend. No! Come! This way. No, I feel like I should put the green boys in with the blue boys. Mm. Kind of a warm green note, because that, that makes things harder. I think... Oh, I don't know. I, I'm feeling... But I I'm think feeling... it more fits with the cold. Yeah. Mm. Especially because we've got, like, quite a few warm colored lads. Oh. Yeah, for green in general, it's hard to tell if it's warm. The the uh, okay, mm. it looks like there's some yeah. purples in the warm pen. Uh, three or four? Oh, we don't have any pinks. We've got magenta and purple, but we don't have pink. Oh, there should nice. be pink well, in there. Pink, right? There, there is pink. Ah, uh, where? Oh, this yeah. One. Oh, so we do. I yeah. missed that one. We should breed them a bit more, perhaps. Oh, right. I should probably head to bed. Oh, I'm kind of sleepy. This is going to be fun. <laughs> it's okay. I, I don't know why, but my favorite pastime in Minecraft, like, it's not even building stuff, it's just herding animals. I find it more than relaxing. <laughs> I can totally okay, understand that. Right, 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 at least. <laughs> blue babies. Some blue lambs. Mm. Yeah. Alrighty. I'm gonna head off. Mm. And then I'll see you guys. What day is it today? It's Monday. I keep forgetting. Yeah, Monday. I keep thinking it was Tuesday, but it's Monday. All days build into one. But anyway, I'm gonna <laughs> see you guys on Wednesday. Yeah. yeah, thank you for joining. It was nice to have no you. Worries. Oh. Thanks for playing. No Ooh. worries. Hey. Some <laughs> Good night. Enjoy the rest of your stream, Mink. See you thank later. You. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Good night. So yeah, I'm also probably gonna call it for Minecraft. Yeah. Right now would be would be the scheduled time for the next section for Peace Hawk Shuffler, so um uh, gonna follow at least that the, schedule <laughs> yeah but we we did some good progress it's much more organized Definitely. now i mean <laughs> there is we didn't yeah. really need building but that's okay <laughs> i mean you could count it as building fences uh, yeah <laughs> i suppose, I suppose. <laughs> we made something I think we've kept you long enough. It's time to, to do our racing games, I think. <laughs> and more importantly, it's time for a kitty break, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I need one, I think. So, yeah. <laughs> let me disconnect. Where's Hogger run away? Yeah, I'm gonna hop off now. Hmm. Also, thank you for joining. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, thank you for bringing us together. Yeah. See you later. All right, bye. Okay. Disconnect over here, too. Okay, that was this part. I'm gonna go switch over to Kitty Break. 
kitty not here right now. Where kitty? Kitty? Where are you? Let me find her. One over here. And there you are. Ah. Let's <laughs> make sure that I can actually see chat. There we go. Look at the kitty. Oh no, man. You're now annoyed now. <sighs> All right, slowly but surely we are approaching the end of the stream. There is one more section, which is the so-called Bishawk Shuffler. Come on, let let her jump over here. There we go. Um, the ways we don't chew the cables. There we go. To explain it one more time, well, no kitty, I guess. Oh well, it's okay. <sighs> uh, for some reason, the chat is scrolled way off. <laughs> See you, Hoko. <sighs> so, um, Bishawk Shuffler. So, Bishawk is an emulator that is kind of a combination of several emulators. So, you can play NES games and N64 games and PS1 games and so on and so forth. Um, and there is the Bishawk Shuffler made by Procentia. And I'm going to. Post this over here too. Um, by the way, Procentia, I can also highly recommend. He is playing a lot of retro games and like terrible games, but it's fun. It's <laughs> it's it's a fun thing to play on stream. And he also is hosting a tournament, a yearly tournament called Kuso Grande. Uh, Kuso is from the Japanese word garbage, basically, and Grande is, you know, big. And so it's a tournament where people play um, bad games. You know, they play for an hour and they try to get as far in this, uh, in this bad retro game as far as possible. And it's a lot of fun and a lot of chaos. <laughs> so I highly, highly recommend it. And so Procentia was the one who um, who wrote that script for the shuffler and basically um, you just have a bunch of ROMs in a folder and the Bissock shuffler takes all of them and you play one of these games in, uh, and after a certain period of time, which is also can be randomized, um, the game switches automatically. So how it works is just makes a safe state for the game to currently play, closes it and then loads the safe state for the next game where you previously left off. Very simple concept actually, but it works really well. And yeah, I'm gonna play this with a bunch of N64 racing games. Uh, I'm gonna switch over here. <gasps> oh, actually, because no kitty. Ah, oh. wouldn't say so is garbage, but say I mean it. Uh, you could kind of translate it. It's like 
cause it could also be translated as damn, like the expression damn. So <laughs> like this. But yeah, in this context, it's, it's supposed to mean rather garbage. <laughs> but probably a bit stronger than that, yeah. You could, you could say that. <laughs> it would probably know more <laughs> akin to English rubbish. Hmm. More like shit, <laughs> but a, a bit milder. Hmm. An in between thing. <laughs> Yes. You can always trust Lucid. So, yeah. That's basically the idea. And so, this time I'm going to remember to switch the... the stream category. We're gonna just switch over to Retro. Bam. Okay. Oh, also thank you for the host, Plip. Just noticed it. <laughs> no pressure. So, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. let's get right to it, actually. Why not? Kitty break is over. No kitty. Let me drink a li little bit of tea. Still warm, after all that time. Again, I brewed the tea right before the beginning of the stream. Which was more than nine hours ago. And not bad. Okay. I'm just using a Switch Pro controller, which I have a dongle for. And it works pretty well, so I love using it, it's very comfortable. Just... Repair everything. So I don't need music right now. It's gonna expand real soon. I right now need to just... Load up the, the script. What a wine kitty. So we have Isaac Shuffler, Solo Shuffler. There we go. Yes, working. Should be working. Oh, there we go. Pause. Gonna pause for now. Not immediately wanting to drop in there. So, the games that I have are Wave Race 64. It's the game that I grew up with. It was the first Nintendo 64 game, and so, of course, I had to add it to Meow Meow. You're Meow Meow Baby. <laughs> Then, uh, Mario Kart 64, because of course, um, F-Zero X, it's a very good game, Diddy Kong Racing, there are not really tournaments in there, but still, we're gonna play around in the adventure mode. And last but not least, LEGO Racers. Um, uh, it's a bit le uh, it's not as good as the others in comparison, uh, but it's also fun and had some precious memories with it. So it's just five games, but lots of chaos is guaranteed. And so when I continue the emulation, it should work. <laughs> you never know when, when you might need to flip someone off. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so seems like the first game that got picked was Wave Race 64. Oh, also, um, the games are gonna be switched uh, every 15 to 90 seconds. So it could be pretty s quickly switched or it takes quite a long time. You never know, you never know when it's gonna happen. 
So let's see. Let's see what will we... There's the kitty now. Just stomping. Squeezy squeeze. She's working very hard. Alright. Let's see. This is actually gonna be the first time that I play with the shuffler. I did a little bit of practicing. Wait, wait. Less loud for myself and also lower the audio in here. I practice a little bit so I don't completely suck. I'm just gonna play it normal. Select your watercraft. Here it is. Alright, let's let's find as you can see, I played a little bit, I got 10 Hello, balloons. Uh, change Select your vehicle. Abracadabra. Let's find a new world. Can I help you first? Bye bye for now. Uh oh, no. I'm just paying too much attention to chat. Okay, so where are the worlds again? Let's, let's look over here. Stuttering every time it switches. It's it's a bit slow. All right, we got Lego Racers next up. I think it, the the car that I have should be saved. I'm not exactly sure, but it should be. Classic Kitty. Yes, and there she's still there, showing us her butt. <laughs> Cat was sleeping and rolled off his chair yesterday, just rolled off and fell off the floor. Then he got up all this rest and blamed me for it. Oh dear. Oh kitty. Well, before we were even able to start anything. For some reason the volume of this game is much more... much lower. Maybe I can adjust it. Uh, no, it doesn't seem like it. Well, just gonna play on novice. Because I'm not that good at this game yet. But let's go with this cup. No, 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 we're gonna go with this one because we have the classic songs in there. Uh, just have the average, just average, just Captain Falcon, whatever. Just wanna race. <laughs> ah! Let's go! At the beginning Welcome it takes some time to start beach. anything because you just have the menus. Get ready for the first race! Three, two, one! Seems like I already forgot how to play. That's also the challenging part. We have all of these written games, but they have they all have slightly different controls and I need to kind of rethink every time when it switches. Uh. Next up we got Mario Kart. Alright. One player, or GP, 150cc, and now let's see, it's amazingly chaotic, yes. <laughs> gotta, gotta choose my boy Yoshi, of course. And, hmm, let's see, I'm gonna this one, or the Star Cup. It has, it's got Bowser's Castle, so... Uh, let's go with the Flower Cup, shall we? What? What? 
what is happening? Oh my god, I got stuck together with Mario. Well, that never happened before. Already a great start. Where's the first place? Alright, let's see what's gonna happen. Ah, uh, we're here. But we got some rad music. Gosh, the F Zero soundtrack is so awesome. Well, <laughs> we weren't able to enjoy it for very long. Oh! Still have the combo. Still, everything is okay. So how this works is we have the power meter over here at the bottom and we also have these red buttons. Um, I'm only allowed to miss these uh, boys, boys, boingies, uh, water boingies, let's call them that, uh, five times during a race. And if I miss five times then I'm disqualified or I have to repeat the race. And you build up the, the max power a uh, meter by um, successfully Welcome to sunset driving Day. between the the the, the water point here. your engine. Three, two, one. Oh! You also start with some meter if you are very good at timing Everybody at the beginning. Okay, right before the ramp, that's gonna be great. Ugh, I like okay. Ooh, nice. Well, let's actually try to shoot down. Go away, Mario. Don't, don't you dare stick against me again. Ah! Great job, Mario. Great job, there. This is a fantasy. <laughs> yes. You are correct. Alright, what's gonna happen next time? Oh, everything was fine. We're doing pretty well so far. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, now you see what happens when I miss one of these bombies. to get the combo up pretty quickly, so it's fine. Ah, the sound stuttering though. I'm driving at 150cc and still feels so slow. If you're used to m more modern Mario cards, it just feels so slow. I still suck at it. Doesn't help. Ah, damn it. There we go. What you doing? There we go. It's not the last lap, so. Whoa. I got, I got that thing at first place. Interesting. Goodbye. Do you 
thank you. I'm doing well right now, but also because I have to say that most of these games I'm kind of like playing it at easy mode. It's been so long, I don't know how any of these tracks go. Well, that was short. Definitely paid off that I did a little bit of practicing yesterday. You finished first and got seven points. Move on I also to just the love mayor. the music of this game. It just feels so Welcome nice. Welcome to Drake like It's it's so satisfying. Watch the signal. Three, two, one. Nice. Nice. So the gimmick of this track, as you can see, is quite floppy. Uh, mm. uh, no problem. No problem. Okay. It's okay. Okay. Oh boy. Some bananas, Donkey Kong. Well, you got it. Get closer, Mario. Ah! <sighs> it was close. It was very close. I noticed too, too late that I'm really close at the at the finishing line. Oh well. It's gonna be. Freaking Mario. Frappe? Frapp? Frappe? How you pronounce it? I don't know. It's no way. Also, I have no idea how to effectively... Uh, how to effectively... Um, grind? Uh, what's the word again? Two sharp corners. Oh, there we go. It's gonna be next. Wow! Okay. Uh, seems like I don't have the razor that I made. So great. I'm just gonna... Uh, choose a normal one. Let's go with her. Sean of Khan. Yeah, it seems on land. Goodbye. <laughs> so this one is pretty. Wait. <laughs> Never mind. Can't explain anything here. By the way, even though I did practices, I did not practice these tracks here, so... Okay, great. As you can see, I suck. Snowman. Oh, there we go. So there is no sharp turn mechanic or anything, but 
we got these pumps. We got these wires. racing games and I played all of these quite a lot during my childhood. Close. Is it Donkey Kong then? No, it's Toad. Toad is leading. Oh yeah, also Toad has an actual understandable voice, a, a comprehensible voice. It sounds like a small child, but you can actually understand what this was told to say. I have no idea why that happened just now. But I don't know. He could pick you. Mario's just fourth. Take that, Mario. That's a good point to switch. Oh. I wish this I wish this game was a bit louder. You've got boost power! You've got boost power! Ah the damn it! Wait. short. Okay, get the green and just one. And there we go. All of a sudden we're in second place. Last round though, so... Because I think this game doesn't have rubber banding. So you can see in the first place is really far ahead. Alright, first place! 
Dude, that was rad! Kid is chilling out there. Camera a little bit closer. Well, that's all I can do. Next one. Legendary song. It was one of the songs that I played during Step Mania. And it totally murdered me. <laughs> It takes you back to a game called Egypt. weird. It's a weird flickering. Takes you back to a game like this I played on Mini Clip. I don't know what Mini Clip is. Is it not a website? It's fine. To watch it. All right, let's go to the next one then. Also, by the way, I'm playing Conquer, uh, the most wholesome character of all the entire games, of course. Your racing fame. Don't know. Jetski. 
you drop off your jet ski and the harder you crash into something the more you drop off or you like you, you, you completely fall off the thing and that takes you time Somebody. This level also is oh. never mind. <laughs> Switching games again. Seems like the fog has lifted for the most part at least. Hell yeah. Doing better than I expected. There we go. It's gonna be what's gonna be. Okay. Lost my banana, but it's fine. So yeah, what, what I wanted to say is this... Um, level in particular is very famous amongst speed... What is happening with my cart? It's very famous amongst speedrunners. Um, maybe you know the YouTube channel Summoning Salts? It's a really good YouTube channel which, um, who makes documentaries about, um, speedrun achievements and how certain speedruns develop over time. This is really fascinating. This is never um, I think he made just just a video about that particular level. It's really cool. There are some crazy skits in there. Never mind. We, we have Lego races. We're walking in the hat. Right now I'm doing pretty okay because I'm still on the easy tracks and easy tournament, so I'm still doing fine. Oh, I have to boost power. Yeah, I also completely forget on which lap I am in, <laughs> in these games when I switch, so... Do I have boost power? Do I not? I always have to make sure every time. Go. And switching again, what's gonna be, what's gonna be? Here we go. That would not have been the case, but oh well. Sand Ocean. I don't know if there is a timing that speeds me up or something for the start. I think for the most part it just doesn't matter. Alright, 
Like this one's crazy. You really have to be making sure that you stay on one line or you're just gonna twirl around like crazy. The last F0 game was for the GameCube F0 GX. And that was already quite a while ago, and ever since then there was no F0 game released. So nothing for the Wii or for the Wii U or for the Switch. Nothing so far. Which is a bummer. It's one of the most anticipated games. Uh, like uh, at least for the Nintendo games. I'm not gonna whine around like, come on Nintendo, why are, why don't you make more games? Where's my Zero game? It's fine, they... I don't know what's behind their market decisions and I don't know the data and if there's actually some real demand for an F-Zero game or it's just a very loud minority uh, who just really wants to have one again. I don't know. But, I'm just saying that if there would be... Why are the Retros not doing anything? They are so unreliable in this game. Um, I'm saying just if there would be a new f game, I would definitely look forward to that. message but for the most part I think we're just saying that we got bad. So I wish you good night. Thank you again for joining. We were like we were there for like the majority of the stream so thank you a lot. It was definitely a pleasure. See you around. Ah okay. Ugh. Oh boy, you cannot really play the shuffler for for a long period of time. I do have to say, it's 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 stressful. It's exhausting, but it's fun. So at least I want to play until I've done the these cups and tournaments that I started in each game. Except for Diddy Kong, there is no such thing. Alright, first place, dude! <laughs> that was forced. a mess. Can barely get past all of these racers. This track is especially bad for Darkness! Mushrooms! Don't know why mushrooms. I can't just reload these rockets all the time. I don't care about rockets, Did that get something back? Why did it shoot him? Yeah, I did not succeed here, so I'm gonna restart. I need first place. You finished first and got seven points. Seven Great. points. Move on to the next round. Welcome to Marine Fortress. This one's pretty cool too. Are you 
pretty extreme waves around here. I hope all of you are not getting headaches from from the switching noise. Episode 1 Racers, or however exactly it was called. Um, although it has been a game that I played only once during my childhood, and that was at some kind of mall, as far as I remember. Why is this happening? I think it's just because I go left and right too quickly, and then it just does that. It's weird. Oops. Well, again, we're still at the easy track, so I'm doing okay. But if there were some kind of track with no no boundaries, like over here, uh, like you, you have boundaries over here, you can crack, bounce into them. You're not falling off, which saves me. Such a lifesaver. If they weren't there, just switching them. Most definitely, it's gonna be good. Yeah, yeah. It's too early. Try. Oh, I need to straight up retry. Okay. Out of my way, please. Also, now I finally know the word drifting. I don't know how to drift in this game. There we go. Ugh. We did crash into the rock, so that's good. Let's go. 
All right, can I catch a good wave? Oh, there we go. We got lucky. It's a bit of a gamble. So this game has different difficulties, and for these difficulties you will replay all of these stages, um, but additional ones get added. But also the, play the ones that you already played get slightly changed, like for example we saw a gate just before, that gate will be open in the harder difficulties. And there will be more obstacles and all sorts of stuff. For some reason, I'm still at third place. Somehow, that that one guy just really sucks. Come back over here. Goodbye. Ah, goddamn! Oh my god! Well, I'm gonna have to retry over here again. That was terrible. Oh, jeez. Darkness! Watch your back! Oh, I have boost. <laughs> well, okay. Still had got first place. And Hawk, oh, why are you distracting me? And then distract the TV. Uh, turn this real quick. Uh, there she is. No, there she is. Okay. Never mind. Whatever. Back to the game. I cannot pay attention to the kitty. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yep. I mean, it's over. Just trying to end this race. Okay. I'm so unfamiliar with this Mario Kart. I'm so much better at the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I'm pretty confident in my skills in that game, but in 64 game, it just looks so different. So much has changed ever since then.
So little races is not really going all that well. First place at the at the previous track, so it's fine. We got enough points. You finished third and got two points. Move on to the next round. round. Welcome, Welcome to, to Port, Port Blue. Blue. Give up, please. I have to quit, which just completely resets the whole thing. Okay, let me just do this. Also, I think I want to have a different cup. So let me do that real... Or not. <laughs> Mario Kart is already a failure. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm playing on 150cc, so it's not the easiest. Ah, oh dear. Completely fell off again. Again, the same one. Oh dear, I'm too terrible. I can still catch up, they're still very close. Ah, again. Yes. 
we? Time trial. No, no, no time trial. No, no, no. Mario Grand Prix. Okay, please. Select your player. Yoshi, Yoshi, mm -mm. Goshi. Select man. So. Those are so long, though. Let's go with this one. It's 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 hard, but well, whatever. Maybe I'm gonna fail again, and if that's the case, I don't know. Whatever. But I like I like those tracks. for me with love also this game this game started both a Yoshi and a Bowser face back in my my childhood uh, my Yoshi, Yoshi face basically until that I had to get all the games that had Yoshi in them like I was obsessed <laughs> it was crazy Oh no, no, I'm, I'm talking nonsense here. No, it was Yoshi's story that uh, started my Yoshi phase. But this game started a Bowser phase for me. Where I went around as a kid and talked like Bowser all over, <laughs> everywhere. Like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Pretty cringy thinking back. Another epic song and another crazy track. Like back then, this was amazing, you know? Having a racy game like that, where you draw on some kind of pipe. Amazing. Totally different from all the F1 stuff or I don't know, NASCAR. I've been really creative with it. Alright, I'm doing terrible over here. Maybe it will hit something. Okay. I should stop trying to... What's the word again? I now I completely forgot it again. Oh god, no. Drift also, by the way, is the word. Also, this jump... First, it feels so much further in the remake of this track. Or at least it's just me? I don't know.
a mess. Last round, so I lost. Still should have enough points. I think so. Yeah, I mean... If you don't have enough points at a certain rank, you, you would have an indicator. Um, Welcome to Southern Island. Like you would have an indicator right where it says rank, where you have the white symbols, but you don't have any. So that means I can also have rank four and still be fine. But if I don't have enough points, I'm going to be disqualified. And I would have to start over from the beginning. Also, this this track is really nice. Because you're gonna see you're gonna see later why. It's it's changing in a certain way. Ah, damn it. I missed it. Ah, oh, god. This is terrible. Still first place. So as you can see, the water level is decreasing and I fell off. Oh dear. This is terrible. Well, at least I got first place over here. Yeah! Yeah! Can I help you? Oh, Jesus <laughs> I just should drive normally. Don't try to be fancy. I'm drifting. <sighs> Drifting in this game is not really doing all that much anyways. Thank you. 
so much. Like, Mario Kart is not going well, for example. You see the Orca? It's a cool. You can live next to an Orca. It's cool, man. This game. This game. I love it. Oh, come on. I wasn't able to turn right. Ah. Select your vehicle. No, I don't need to select it Can again. Can I help you for that? Bye bye for now. So, let's see. Go to Royal. So over here. Yeah. This should be completely unlocked. Snowflake mount. Let's start with this one. Ever or not. And there we have this mess. Oh god. Get back to the water, please. Thank you. Oh, that was ran the last one. Okay. Well, I won. I did it. And after celebration, scene right now. Should take the head of the controller. F zero. We're done with Wave Race, I'm not gonna start another championship over there. It would take too long. So what I can do is... Well, we're still gonna watch the celebration scene, because why not? But then after that, I sh it should be easy enough to remove it from the shuffler. Sure, how you're not completely disoriented yet? Um, I'm not sure. He, mm, same here, like I'm not sure too. You are the champion. Congratulations! I'm surprised how decent I'm doing. Ah, oh, come on, just at least give us the full celebration scene. Oh. How much can I skip? Uh, As you can see, Mario Kart is not going well. I'm gonna retry, I guess.
Also, it's really hard to get some boosts on these pipes. You just can't really see them. So if you don't know where they are, you just... just have no idea. That's fine, fourth place. We got first place for the whole, for all of the other tracks, so we're doing pretty well. This is the last one. We're also gonna be done with this game. It's not good. There we go. Let's watch the rest of it. of my actual name, Manuel. So I call myself Man. So I can, I should be able to pause it real quick uh, and go into the folder, take wave rays and move it into the completed ROMs folder. And that should remove it from the, from the shuffler. And so we don't get a wave race anymore. Uh, let's start it again. And I can also hit this button here. There we go. to me. <laughs> Poor Mario. Well, actually, I don't feel bad. If you're just watching the speedrun, 
and have and don't really know how it works, you have no idea what's going on. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Ah, I thought I could maybe hit him while he's jumping. That would that would have been evil. Ah, oh, I didn't do it. Look how mad. I am. <laughs> but now I'm happy. Now I realize that second place is also good, you know. So, well then, we're also done with Lego Racers. Now, uh, when it's gonna switch, I will also remove it from the folder. I don't know, I don't really know if I can... Okay, let me just try it. What happens if I... ...move it while it's still playing? Okay, nothing happens. Okay. Now I know. Ah, oh, Mark Cut. So we got two games done. Lego Racers uh, was not quite successful, uh, but I did at least decently. Also, I'm a little bit bummed out that I wasn't able to play the racer that I made last time when I when I tested it. It worked, and it still had the racer that I made. That's the cool thing about LEGO Racers, also, you are able to make your own race cards with building blocks, actual LEGO building blocks, and it's fun. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever, you're not going to have a bigger hitbox or speed or weight or anything like that. It just looks different, that's all. But still, it's fun. And I've spent so much ta uh, time uh, time making all sorts of different racers in the game. Racing cards. And as you succeed, as you uh, uh, finish the cups, the, the championships or whatever they're called, you get more building blocks from the different worlds. Second place, that's good enough. Uh, what just happened? It said it loaded wave rays, but it... So I guess that didn't work. Hmm. Let me see. So the, the script is still running, so... It's still counting down, but it just cannot find the game. And once, once the countdown is done, I guess... I don't exactly know how it works. Hmm, no idea. Let's wait a little bit. Silence. Also, did I lie, actually? It says that the minimum time is 5 seconds and the maximum time is 30 seconds for every switch. Guess I also did that differently. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. Just switched. Tomorrow card. Oh. Again, it's the first time that I'm trying this thing, so...
actually a good thing that I have that I had to randomize for day uh, day time uh, between 5 and 30 seconds and not between 15 and 90 seconds I think that would have been too much okay that was weird well there it was just about five seconds Question marks over there. It's because this this track is so convoluted that the game itself doesn't even know who is at which place. It's just a complete mess. Oh, I don't know where to go. Again. Oh no, this is not good timing. Oh. I don't know these NFT boosts yet. Is it just me or is it switching much faster now? Maybe I changed some settings just now. the boost just now. Oh dear.
Uh, still fourth place. That's good enough. 